Hello and welcome! Today we're going to be playing some Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord, a game which, well, many of us have waited many years for, me included. I really, really loved uh, the first Mountain Blade and the second Mountain Blade and then the Fire and Sword and the Viking one and I've played all of them and I really like them. Uh, so uh, here we are at the latest Tale Worlds uh, iteration of, of its series, let's say. Uh, and... Um, it's in early access at the moment. It's not perfect. There have already been four patches, um, which is good, because that means they're, they're fixing things up pretty damn quickly, considering this game only came out on the 30th of March. Um, so pretty good uh, for early access um, at the moment that they're, they're fixing stuff so rapidly. Um, but in spite of its, you know, flaws, let's say, this game is really, 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 really addictive. Really addictive. Um, it's very, very hard to put down. Um, in fact, one of my friends uh, who's also playing this messaged me last night uh, just to say, this is very addictive. I told myself I was going to save and quit three hours ago. <laughs> and he was still there playing. So, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, Pretty uh, good testament for any game, really, is if you struggle to put it down and you're having lots of fun with it. Uh, and I've certainly been having fun with it. I, I've got um, a campaign that I've had on the go. I've played 48 hours of this game so far. Um, if I didn't have uh, a, my son to look after, I would have played a hell of a lot more hours of it. I can tell you that. Uh, probably every hour available. But um, still, 48 hours already is not bad going. Um, it's uh, it's very enjoyable. I've got myself on my main campaign uh, six companions now, because uh, the way companions work is a little bit different now. I'll, I'll get into that a bit later. Um, and uh, I, I've been basically going around all the arenas, uh, fighting tournaments, building up myself uh, a nice big fat pile of cash. Uh, I've bought myself some ridiculous armor, um, so uh, winning more tournaments is a lot easier. And uh, that's how I've mostly been generating my money on that campaign, just kind of fighting tournaments, doing a little bit of trading and raiding. Uh, of of, of uh, bandit hideouts and whatnot, um, but most of my money has come from doing the tournaments. Um, oh, hello Infernal, how you doing? It says uh, speaking of game hours, I broke two thousand hours on Battle Texas two two hours ago. Well done. You'll be catching up with me soon. I'm on uh, two thousand four hundred and forty, I think it is on Battle Tech. Uh, so uh, yeah, we're uh, we're both. Uh, Spending far too much of our lives on that one game, aren't we? Um, so, uh, yeah, back to uh, Bannerlord. I'm going to create a character. Uh, rather than just jump in on the character I've been playing with, uh, I figured some of you might want to see the uh, the whole character creation process. Um, I, I'm already well prepared for this game. I, I haven't even acknowledged that I'm wearing a ridiculous helmet. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Uh, I'll keep it on for as long as I, I can be bothered to, and then I'll, I'll switch to me, me good old cap. Um, all right, so uh, there are six different character cultures here. Um, <laughs> hey, Sindrin, how you doing? Well spotted. It is, in fact, a Spartan helmet. Yes, that's right, but it's the only uh, helmet I've got, so it'll have to do. To be, to be fair... Um, the the kind of helmets it styles in this game are are very varied and and not at all from the real world uh, like i mean all the different races have kind of vague real world world themes but uh definitely a bunch of artistic license taken there um right so uh we've got the vlandians the sturgeons the empire the azari the kurzites uh kuzites Let's go with Kuzites uh, and the Batanians. Um, and my first character, obviously, was Batanian um, because that sounds a bit like the Britons or the British uh, and their whole style is very kind of... Um, kind of... kind of uh, I don't know. It's a little bit Celtic warrior-y style uh, where, uh, you know, they're, they're more about kind of ambushing and... and, and special warrior stuff and uh, yeah not not very disciplined and all of that um they've got some reasonably good archers as well which is pretty cool uh, so they they felt the most british to me so i picked them first however their um uh their bonus because each of these uh cultures you pick come with a, a bonus their bonus is forests give 10 percent less speed penalty to parties so 
kind of useful if you're running away or running towards another army through woods and that, but not the best bonus out there. Um, so uh, that's the one I, I've got on my main campaign. I'm going to do something different for this. Yeah, Sindrin says Batanians equals Celts. Exactly, that's that's basically uh, the way I viewed it as well and why I picked them first. And I really like them. Um, I, I, I'm not disappointed with my choice with that, but obviously uh, for doing another campaign, I'm going to pick something different. So um, I'll just go through them all first so you uh, so you know what we're dealing with. Uh, we've got the Vlandians here. Uh, the Vlandians are the descendants of adventurers from the West who lived under the Empire for centuries before forming an independent kingdom. With the decline of imperial authority, they've evolved into a well-organised feudal society led by a caste of warlike nobles who prefer to fight with spears and lances on horseback. So unsurprisingly, they have some pretty good cavalry. Um, and uh, yeah, in fact, on my main campaign, my um, spear slash lance that I'm using is a Vlandian one, as far as I remember. Uh, that, that seems to be the, uh, the, the right way to go, uh, is, is using their weaponry for that, since they're good at it. Um, my sword, uh, I'm using a Batanian sword, I think, because it can be used either as a one-hander or a two-hander. I don't know, actually, it's, it, yeah, it's a Batanian style sword, but I actually won it from fighting in the arena, so I don't know whether that counts as Batanian or not, but the, the look of it is definitely Batanian. It's, it's identical to one of their swords, uh, which can also be used as a one- or a two-hander. Um, all right, so, uh, if we go Vlandians, we get 20% more upgrade experience to troops from battles, um, I'm probably going to go with these guys because I really like the sound of that bonus. Your, your troops are going to upgrade that little bit quicker, which is which is nice. Um, <laughs> I'm actually struggling to read past this nose piece as well. It's kind of annoying, but we'll stick with it for now. Uh, next, we've got the Sturgeons. Uh, Sturgeons are the descendants of the foreign tribes of northern Calradia, um, or Calradia, however you want to say it. I'm going to go with Calradia. Uh, as the Empire expanded in into their cold forests, they found that a ready market for the luxurious furs of woodland animals whom they traditionally hunted and trapped. Uh, Sturgeon chieftains became princes, vying for preeminence, and with the help of Nord mercenaries who migrated into their realm. Uh, what? Sturgeon chieftains became princes, vying for preeminence, with the help of Nord mercenaries who migrated into their realm. Okay, yeah, I, I've somehow managed to put an and in there that wasn't there. Uh, they're good hunters and wanderers, travelling far in search of opportunities both for trade and for plunder. So uh, if you go with a Sturgeon background, you get 20% less speed penalty from snow, which makes sense. Um, can also be useful if you spend a lot of time in the north. I did warn you, it's difficult to read through this helmet, but <laughs> we'll carry on. Uh, next, we've got the Empire. So the Caradian Empire is in decline. Even before the murder of the Emperor Arenikos? Arenikos? Aranikos. Let's go with that. Um, the once united realm was torn by political rivalries. Today, those factions are in open war. Yet Calradians endure. They are technologically more advanced than their neighbours, and their mastery of engineering is not just evident in their aqueducts, beautiful architecture, and massive city walls. It also makes them experts in siege warfare. So uh, if you choose an empire background, you get 20% construction speed bonus to town projects, wall repairs, and siege engines. So that sounds like it would be really, really good once you're past the early stage of the game and uh, into having your own towns and settlements and, and stuff. So um, that could be really good if you're planning on building your own uh, uh, faction, perhaps. Okay, then we've got the Azurai. Uh, the Azurai are the inhabitants of the Nahasa Desert, a mixture of nomadic Bedouin and settled oasis farmers. They're famous for their horsemanship and their knowledge of learning uh, of the learning of many lands, especially medicine, gained from lying on some of the continent's most lucrative trade routes. Each clan is fiercely proud of its lineage and often jealous of the others, but when united by a charismat charismatic leader, they become a major force in the south. Caravans are 30% cheaper to build and 10% less trade penalty. So, they're oh, excuse me, they are all about the trade. Um, and uh, that's a pretty good way of making money. Uh, so if you want to be a bit of a trader, I recommend that background. Uh, caravans being 30% cheaper to build is pretty cool. And the 10% less trade penalty, always useful. Um, okay, next we've got the Kuzites. Um, the Kuzite Confederation of Steppe Tribes used to live a nomadic life, but have recently settled in the eastern frontier of the Empire and are slowly transitioning into a, an agrarian society with permanent town centres. Despite this, they still retain many aspects of their nomadic life, including their affinity with horses. 
They're masters of mounted archery, shooting, and then galloping out of reach. Uh, they're incredibly annoying, actually, as you might expect horse archers to be. Um, when, when I was uh, quite early on in my uh, first campaign, uh, I did encounter some horse archers and got absolutely butchered by them, um, which was pretty nasty. Uh, all I had at the time was infantry, and in that infantry, nobody had any missile weapons at all. Yeah, I know, super genius. So we were just running around try, trying to trap the... I, I think they, there were only like five of them, um, and I had a lot more than five, uh, but they whittled me down pretty well. Uh, we did eventually win the battle, but not before losing nearly all of my troops, so that, that was pretty rough. Um, yeah, so uh, if you go with a, a Kuzite background, you get a 10% extra speed bonus for horsemen on the campaign map. Now, that could be pretty useful as well, because there, there's, there's a feature of this game that, that wasn't in the previous ones, where um, you can actually carry around spare horses, and that can improve your map movement speed. So even infantry that normally wouldn't ride a horse uh, in battle can actually ride your spare horses. Um, and and when, when you're moving on the map, and therefore move quicker. You can also use the horses for carrying... Uh, goods as well so uh, it's pretty cool um, so it could be uh, quite a useful bonus oh need to breathe right okay and uh, then we've got the Batanians uh, the Batanians still remember the olden days when the woods stretched across northern Calradia and the empire and its cities had yet to violate their sanctity the fierce warriors remain loyal to their traditional ways they paint their faces when going to battle and even their noblemen prefer, prefer to fight on foot or using great axes and two-handed swords with deadly efficiency so, uh, as I pointed out earlier, forest gives forests give 10% less speed penalty to parties if you go for a Batanian background. But, as I said, we're going to go with a Vlandian background this time. 20% more upgrade experience to troops from battles. Sounds pretty good. So, we go next. And we come to the character creator. Uh, so, the character creator is obviously a lot better than it was previously. Uh, things have come a long way in the oh, however many years it's been. Is it eight? Is it twelve? I can't even remember. Um, okay, so uh, we're we're gonna make a dude. Okay. Form a line. Fall back. Okay. Let, let's go with the the crazy screaming guy. Um, right. Uh, what can we do? Oh, there's a, there's a, there's a lot you can do basically. Uh, I mean, here you've got. Height and and voice pitch, skin color. Um, we got we got all the shades. Um, you can be female as well if you like. Um, then, as you had with um, the the previous title, um, quite a lot of customization of the face. But you can do uh, quite a lot there. Um, I'm just oh hold on skin type as well. I didn't even notice skin type the first time I did it. Oh wow, there are four skin types. Did not realize. Okay. I'm going to go for uh, that one, I think. Um, I'm. Yeah, do I want to just settle for this face? I'm not going to spend ages messing about with it. So, yeah, we'll just go with that face. We're going to put a beard on it anyway. Um, so, uh, yeah, a lot, a lot you can do there. Uh, eyes. And we've got eyebrow type. Oh, excellent. Can we have a mono brow? No, discrimination. There's no mono brow in there. Uh, let's go with that one. Um, and again, you can do a lot with this. It, it, it's, I mean, you could spend a day just messing around with it. All I'm going to change, though, is the eye color. Get it uh, a little bit closer to mine. So it's not pure blue. It's more of a kind of gray, green, blue. Go with that one. That will do. Uh, nose. Yeah, we can mess about with the nose for ages, but I'm not going to. Uh, teeth type. Lovely. They're uh, pretty uh, terrible looking teeth. So we'll go with just that one. Um, mm, oh, we'll, uh, we'll stick with that. Okay, now hair. We will mess about with hair. Uh, we want the, the longest hair that we can get, I think, is that one. There are a lot of uh, different hair types. <laughs> you can even have uh, pigtails. Um, nice. Plenty of options here. 
Jesus. <laughs> um, I hope this guy didn't pay much for that haircut. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to go with, uh, with that as it's the closest to what I've actually got. Although um, it's a lot shorter than my hair. <laughs> that You just don't seem to be able to get my length hair in games. It's like they're trying to tell me something. Um, right, and then next we're going to go for a beard. Again, many choices of beards. Uh, I'm just going to look for one that's similar to mine, maybe. Um, uh, it's tricky, I guess. Maybe that one. No, it's a little bit long. That one, perhaps. Yeah, we'll go with that one. It's a bit thicker than mine, but uh, they, they don't do straggly hobo beard, unfortunately. Um, most games don't provide my uh, straggly hobo beard style. Uh, right, so we've got the hair. Uh, we can also choose markings. So we could have tattoos if we want. Um, there's a lot of uh, a lot of job stoppers here. Get the old facial st facial tattoos. Uh, I'm not going to do that though. Uh, I'm not a big fan of uh, full on face tattoos, so we're just going to go without. Um, and then you can change clothing. Oh, you can just take it off or put it on. Right. Okay. Well, let, let's put the the dad bod away and. Uh, and put some clothing on. Right, next. Choose your family. So this is something that I really, really liked um, about uh, th this new game. Um, is It's still done in the same kind of way that they had in the other Mountain Blade um, uh, Warband. Uh, let's compare it to Warband. So uh, it's, it's similar to that, but but better. Like They've kind of condensed the skills more. Um, so it feels a little bit more manageable uh, and you can just hover over all of these to find out what they do, um, various things. And um, choosing your background will obviously put various points into these skills. So um, we're, we're going to just choose what we were. So you've got so many stages of this and, and each thing affects something in your stats. So we're, we're going to choose a bunch of things. So let's have a look. Baron's Retainers. So, for example, that will give 10 skill level, one focus point to riding and pole arm, and one attribute point to social. Uh, urban Merchants, Trade and Charm, and Intelligence. Pole arm crossbow, and Endurance. Smithing, Two Handed, and Vigor. <laughs> Hey, Catch, how you doing? And thank you very much for the resub. I really appreciate that. 15 months. Whoa. There's well, 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 a few weeks into the apocalypse and you've already been knighted. Yeah, I, I'm prepared, Catch. Uh, they're, they're not getting my food. <laughs> oh, hey, Chico as well. Good to see you. I didn't see you sneak in there. Uh, right, so uh, what we got here? Uh, scouting, crossbow and cunning. Or mercenaries. Roguery, crossbow and... And control. Hmm. Hmm. Riding's useful. Pole arms useful. So social kind of useful. I do use a lot of pole arms normally, and and you do ride a lot, so it might be good for me to go for that. Uh, this also gets you pole arm, but also crossbow and endurance. I'm not really sure I need crossbow because I I. Unlike most people that play this game, I'm not a big fan of just standing around shooting a bow for for an hour. Um, I prefer to, to ride around stabbing people instead. Um, so I might go with this one. Riding, pole arm. Yeah, so your father was a bailiff for a local feudal magnate. Uh, he looked after his liege's estates, re resolved disputes in the village, and helped train the village levy. He rode with the Lord's Cavalry, fighting as an armoured knight. Okay. Uh, we'll go with that then. So here we go. Choose your early childhood next. As a child, you were noted for so leadership skills, unsurprisingly. Gets you leadership, tactics, and cunning. Brawn, two handed throwing, vigor. Uh, athletics, one handed, and control. Engineering, trade, and intelligence. Charm, leadership, and social. 
riding, medicine, and endurance. Well, under the leadership stuff, I know a certain skill under leadership can help you uh, gain experience for your troops quicker. So I might actually go with the leadership one. Uh, leadership, tactics, and cunning. Yeah, let's go with that. Like all village children, you helped out in the fields. You also herded sheep, athletics, throwing, and control. Uh, worked in the village smithy, two-handed smithing and vigor. Smithing, engineering, intelligence. Medicine, scouting, and endurance. Bow, tactics, and control. Trade, charm, and social. Hmm. I want that. Probably going to go with that. Vigor's useful. Um, ability to use a two-hander is pretty good. I, I mean, I found from um, spending a lot of time doing the arena tournaments that having uh, points in all three of these weapon types is pretty useful because you, you never know what weapon you're going to get given in a tournament. So having uh, all-round ability is pretty handy. Um, yeah, let's go with that. So I worked in the village smithy. As a youngster, growing up in Calradia, war was never too far away. You served as a baron's groom. Steward, tactics, and cunning. Riding, and polearm, and endurance. Crossbow, engineering, intelligence. Riding, bow, endurance. Is that... Okay, yeah, that one's very similar, but with polearm. Um... Whole arm, one-handed, and vigor. Throwing and bow and control. Hmm. I might go trained with the cavalry. Again, more riding skill could be useful. Whole arm and one in endurance. Yeah, let's go with that. Trained with the cavalry. Uh, before you set out for a life of adventure, your biggest achievement was... Okay. So we get focus point in one handed and two handed, an attribute attribute point to vigor, plus one to valor, and twenty to renown for that. Renown is good because that allows you to level up your clan, which means you can have more people in your party and more companions. Um, so this tactics, leadership, cunning, trade, smithing, intelligence, bow, crossbow, control, no, athletics, roguery, endurance, no. Charm, steward, and social. Plus one to mercy, generosity, and honor, and five renown. Um, 102. I, I'm, I'm going to go with defeated an enemy in battle. Um, gives me uh, a point in one-handed and two-handed. And we'll, we'll see in a bit what this affects and why these points matter and why I'm choosing carefully based on the points. Um, we get one valor and 20 renown. Okay, we're going to go with that. Okay, um, like many families in Calradia, your life was upended by war. Your home was ravaged by the passage of army after army. Eventually, you sold your property and set off with your father, mother, brother, and your two younger siblings to a new town you'd heard was safer. But you did not make it. Along the way, the inn at which you were staying was attacked by raiders. Your parents were slain and your two youngest siblings seized. But you and your brother survived because... Okay, uh, one handed and athletics. Uh, bow and tactics, riding and scouting. Uh, roguery and tactics, and uh, leadership and charm. I'm gonna go for the extra vigor point. So you subdued a raider. Okay, you prepare to set off with your brother on a mission of vengeance and rescue. Here's your character. Click finish if you're ready or go back to make changes. Okay, uh, so you've got a randomizer for the names. There are a lot of uh, very old worldy sounding names there. Um, we're we're going to change that. We're going to be Doyle. Uh, so, and then uh, it gives you a, a rundown of the bonuses you've chosen. You can choose to go back at this point. 
if you look at your character and decide, oh no, I've done it all wrong, I don't like this, uh, you can go back and fix it up, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I think I'm happy with what we've chosen there. So, a lot of points in Vigor. Weapony stuff. Bit into uh, Endurance and horsey stuff. Only a little bit in Cunning. Only a little bit in Leadership. So, let's go. Uh, determining the game difficulty. So, default is set to very easy. Now, my other campaign, I've moved it all to realistic. Uh, so, I'm going to do the same with this. Uh, recruitment difficulty. Yep, send that realistic. Enable death. Should I enable death? Let's not enable death because I'll probably die in the first two minutes and then end up having to start all over again. Um, choose if the heroes are able to die in the battle. I suppose I could just save scum if that happens and it's too early. Enabling death might be interesting. Let's enable it. Why, why do I do these things? Um, auto allocate clan member perks. No, we don't want that. So we've enabled death though. I assume uh, that means that companions can die on the battlefield as well, which could get a little bit costly, actually. Maybe I should turn that off because having constantly dying companions could be pretty bad. Because they cost a lot to hire. Let, let's turn that off. Oh, I don't know. I'm really torn. I'm really torn. I don't know. I kind of want it on, but at the same time, I'm thinking, oh, God, this could get really annoying. And I might regret it. Hmm. Yes. Uh, uh, th that That's correct. Catch is rightly pointing out to Sindrin there that the full name is Doyle Doyle. Uh, I will be Doyle of Clan Doyle. <laughs> um, oh... I'm going to enable death. I'm going to regret this. I know I'm going to regret this, but I'm enabling death. Can I see anything? I, not very well, Chico. Actually reading past this nose piece is kind of tricky. Okay. Uh, brother, it's been three days now, and we've been tracking those bastards. I think we're getting close. We need to think about what happens when we catch them. How are we going to rescue Varric and Alda? Are we up for a fight? This looks like an old training field for the legions. Perhaps we can spare some time and brush off. Brush off? I think they mean brush up our skills. <laughs> brush off our skills. Right, okay. Uh, the practice could come up useful when we catch up with the raiders. Um, so I'm going to uh, skip the tutorial. I've done it before. It's not that interesting. You're not missing much. So uh, yeah, let's uh, let's skip the tutorial. Uh, we want people to take us seriously. We may be leading men into battle soon. Let's give our family a name and a banner, like the nobles do. Cool. A few hours after you leave the training ground, you come across a wounded man lying under a tree. You share your water with him and try to dress his wounds as best you can. He tells you he's a travelling doctor. To thank you for your help, he hands you a small bronze artefact, which he says was once given to him in payment by a warrior who said only that it was related to Naretzi's folly. He suspects it might be of great value. You resolve to find out more. Okay, family name is Doyle. And now we get to choose our banner. So uh, you can change the size of your symbol and you've got a limited palette of colours to choose from. You, uh, you can choose background colour and sigil colour. Um, and then your symbol. You've got all sorts of symbols you can choose. Some of them I, I found were a little bit wonky when I uh, was selecting them on my first campaign. Let's see if they fixed them. Yeah, no, that still looks a little bit wonky. Uh, 
There we go. There's another one I found that's a bit wonky. So early access, as I said, the game is not perfect yet. Um, so some symbols are a little bit messed up. Uh, but there are plenty of others to choose from. Yeah, it seems uh, mostly these circle-y ones are, are pretty uh, broken at the moment. Uh, right, what are we going to go with? Yeah, let's go with that. Shrink it down a little bit so it's not too obnoxiously big. And we'll call that done. Okay. So, we've got quests on this tab. Rebuild your clan. So, I've got a load of objectives here. I need to get to a total of 2,000 dinars. I need 20 men. I need to reach clan tier 1. And also hire a companion. Also got to investigate Naretzi's folly. So, you have to talk to a lot of nobles for this. This quest takes quite a long time. Just so you know. That will take ages. All right, let's have a look at our character. So, uh, you'll see I've got uh, little wands next to shields on some of my skills, which means I can choose an ability. So, every so many points, so as you see, 25, 50, 75, 100, and so on, uh, you get to choose uh, a little trait, which is really cool. I like that. Um, but you can only choose one or the other of these. You can't get them all, uh, which uh, makes things quite interesting and means uh, most of your characters are going to end up being different to your other characters. Um, and uh, also, you've got this uh, this green bar here, which is showing the threshold of, of how, how far you can learn into this skill tree. So at the moment, I can only get a maximum of 100, which means all of these skills over here are gated off from me but you can improve that by adding points so i've got one focus point here that i could add to uh, one handed two handed or pole arms uh, let's add it to or actually i might i might not add it to any of the weapon things at all for now i might just add it to leadership because uh, there's a leadership thing there small xp bonus per day to party because Okay, so in, in, in Warband, you could up your training skill and train your, your troops daily, which made training your troops up quite easy in the end. Uh, in this, you've got to unlock this. Like, you don't, you don't have natural training until you unlock this. So I think I'll spend my one point in leadership. Uh, another thing worth knowing is... Uh, that sorry, struggling to breathe again. It's not the helmet, it's just uh, my natural um, failure of lungs. Uh, right, I, I need to um, put a point in here, but uh, I was going to tell you, doing that will increase the learning rate here. So if I do this now, there we go, you'll see the learning rate has gone up from 5 point whatever to 7.64. Um, so it increases the rate at which I learn this skill now, which is, is good um, because I want to get combat tips. You could get Raise the Meek. Uh, that gives a medium XP bonus per day to tier 1, 2, and 3 troops. But uh, it goes all the way up to tier 6, I think. Um, tier 5 or 6 it goes up to. So that doesn't really help your higher level dudes. Whereas uh, this gives a small XP bonus per day to the whole party. So uh, I'm going to go with that. Uh, right, so now we've got to choose the skills. Let's go for riding first. Well, there's only one to choose for riding at the first level. So we'll just take Vigorous, 6% to horse hit points. Okay, now for one-handed. Hit points increased by 3 or edge placement, one-hand damage increased by 4%. We're going to go for the damage. Two-handed. Gonna go for the damage. And pole arm, there's only one choice here. Extra hit points. There we go. So that's our uh, traits assigned for now. But you will level these things up. So every three levels you get a point here, which you can spend in one of these. Uh, you've got Vigor, 
control, endurance, cunning, social, and intelligence. So you get a point for these uh, every three levels. And then I think every level you get a point here, which you can assign to these various skills. So I like the leveling system on this. I do think it's an improvement on uh, the previous titles. Um, and I have no real complaints about it. I, I think uh, it, it's a nice system um so far uh so good really um uh, and and very varied uh you know there's, there's so many choices i mean look at all these skills like there's so many things and a lot of them you know are choice of one or another when you level up so it's going to be difficult to to make two characters identical to each other unless you've got a photographic memory um and i like that i think you know it gives a lot of replayability trying different different skills you know different combinations of skills there are so many to choose from so that's really cool all right we'll hit done there we've got our inventory so what have we started with a makeshift kite shield an iron arming sword a western simple spear oh we have started with a horse that's cool and a long hemp tunic Uh, we've got two bags of grain for food. Interesting. So in our civilian outfit, we've actually got a scarf, which gives plus two to body armor. So in our civilian outfit, we're actually more armored than we are in our uh, battle outfit. So I'm going to yoink that scarf. And I'm going to put that on my battle outfit. So uh, it gives me a little bit more body armor. There we go. Okay. Definitely choose coolant vent and rage burst, says Catch. Uh, rage burst would be great. I love a bit of rage burst. Um, right. And then we've got the clan tab here. I'll show you that. So at the moment, um, I don't really have anything to show. I've got no companions. I'm just all alone. On my own um, but uh, if, if you go to this screen you can see a quick rundown of your companions you get the same view for your companions you can see their traits and uh, companions have various traits uh, you can see their skills at a glance as well which is nice uh, you can create war parties so uh, at the moment I, my, my clan tier is zero so I, I can't have any extra parties but uh, later on in the game, you will be allowed to. Uh, I think I'm allowed up to three parties on my main campaign now. You can also have caravans. You can see your garrisons and what's been dispatched for quests. Cool. Thieves, obviously we don't have any. And then the other tab, I'm not entirely sure what that's for yet. Uh, I haven't encountered it in either of my games yet. Uh, you've also got this tab here, um, which will be your kingdom tab. But you can't click on it until you have a kingdom, so... Uh, I've never seen what that has uh, in store. All right. So I am at a training field all on my own. i got some money. Uh, I guess the first thing we want to do is go hire some troops so we don't immediately get wrecked by bandits. Okay. Hire these guys. There's 24 looters over there. We want to avoid them. Oh, yeah, that's another thing. Uh, so you've now got kind of, as well as the main armies running around and all the, the usual bandits and and sea raiders and all of that they're all still there but you've got this this extra bunch of, of dudes now uh kind of like independent little army stacks running around so uh here's one for example Z xenon of the hands party um and they can have multiple army stacks as well these these mini factions uh which is pretty cool uh i made enemies with one of them in my other game pretty early on um, looted a load of really cool stuff off him uh, and now his faction hates me forever and whenever they see me they try to get me uh, but it can be a good source uh, of getting some uh, 
player tier gear if you actually have the uh, the troops to, to take those on. Uh, I got lucky. The first time I saw uh, that army stack, it was just like this one guy on his own. He, 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 I don't know what had happened to him. His army had been obliterated by someone else. I just caught this one guy on his own. I was like, oh, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that. Uh, let's go take him on. And obviously defeated him and then got loads of loot out of it. So it was very lucrative. So we're just uh, recruiting Imperial recruits because that is what we have in this area. And I think I'll try to get to 10 and then we'll look for some uh, small uh, looter bands to attack. Right, we've got a dude here who uh, is one of the guys we need to talk to for our quest. Uh, I need to uh, go for a save. There we go. Alright, so uh, we're going to talk to him. I just thought, I haven't saved since I started the game. And I don't want to go through all that again. Um, right, why, why can't I talk to him? Where's he gone? I've clicked on the village, haven't I? Right, there we go. No, no, he's, he's in the village, so I can't talk to him yet. Let's wait for him to wander about a bit. Oh, there we go. Now I can talk to him. There we go. All right. Uh, now then, come no closer. Forgive me, but one cannot be too cautious. I would ask for your name. My name is Doyle, madam. May I ask your name? I am Ragea, rightful empress of the Calradians. I'm lady of Lycaron and Anira. Okay, uh, she says, I shall remember your name. Oh, good. Uh, right, what is Niretzi's folly? Uh, that's what some people call the Great Battle of Pendrake in the year 1077. Ooh. Emperor Nerezes led an army accompanied by Kuzites and Azerai to fight a coalition of Sturgeons, Batanians, and Vlandians. It was a disaster for him. He died in it, but the victors didn't fare much better. Uh, of course, I did not witness the battle, but my husband, Aranikus, spoke frequently of it. He was one of the Emperor's trusted commanders. He could not stop Nerezes from marching to defeat, but he managed to salvage something from the disaster. When the Sturgeons came over our barricades, he managed to lead a group of Nerezi's guardsmen out the back. My husband's small force held together, and we were joined by stragglers and fugitives. He described the march back. No food, little water, marching day and night to keep ahead of the enemy's outriders, but they survived. The only organised Imperial force to do so. The city was in a state of panic. After hearing rumours of what happened, Aranikus kept things from descending into chaos. When it came time for the Senate to choose the next Emperor, there was no question that it should be him. I loved him before as a man, but that day learned to love him as something more. What a gift he was to the people of Calradia. Okay. Does not want to let me get to 10 easily, does it? Now then, should we go take on these looters with only 9? Am I going to wuss out? I'm going to wuss out. I'm going to wait till I've got um, the 10, I think. Just in case I charge in and immediately get stabbed and die. I need my troops to be able to win it for me. Oh man, I can't hide that. Why not? I don't have a high enough relation. Oh, gutted. I've only got one food now. Because um, all these hungry men are eating me out of house and home. So I'm going to have to uh, buy some food pretty quickly. Right. Uh, it seems that nobody's going to let me hire any more dudes. At this stage. Ah, five looters. Now there's there's a, a party of enemies we can take on. I hope they've got food. Yeah. Crazy Critter, thank you very much for the bits. Hello there. It says, hi mate, thanks for the great content. Really enjoyed, enjoyed your work and helped get through this isolation. Ah, oh, bless you. Thank you very much. Come on, come on. Catch him, catch him. There we go. Surrender or die, brigand. Right. Do a fight. Um, now, this is the point where I'm probably going to have to take the helmet off. 
Just, uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm going to screw up the fight if, if I've got limited visibility. So uh, off it comes. Oh, that's better. Okay. Let's attack. Oh, we've got we've got buddies here. Oh, this will make this very easy. Oh, we, oh, oh. Get rid of the tutorial. Don't want that. Oh, hello. Oh, that was quick and easy. <laughs> They've got legionaries. Proper hardcore troops there. Just absolutely butchered the poor looters. Okay, so we won. We did nothing, but we won. <laughs> uh, we got a couple of torn padded garments. Now, is that better than what I'm wearing? No, no, it's not. Okay. Something to sell then. Um, now what? We need to buy grain. Or I'm going to start starving and losing troops. Oh, there's more looters. Maybe they've got grain. And I've got to stop getting distracted by fights. Come on, come on, come on. Before we run out of food, before we run out of food, please. No, no, we're out of food. We're out of food. Please have food. <laughs> we're near a village. We can nip there quickly. Surrender or die, Brigand. Right, this time, this is our own fight, as you can see. Our party of nine versus their party of eight. Attack! Right, we'll just tell them all to attack. So, uh, commands are a little bit more expanded um, compared to what they were in uh, Mountain Blade. Um... Still done off the F keys though, so nice and intuitive for those that have played the game before. Oh no, we missed. Oh, we didn't miss that one. Okay, recruits made their very light work of these uh, looters. And we gained some skill in pole arm. Alright, so as you can see now. Um, it tells you when you get upgrades as well. So, one of my Imperial recruits is ready to be upgraded. And I uh, earned two points in pole arms. We also gained a bit of renown and morale. You get that for every fight. Obviously, the, the harder the fight, the more you'll gain. We're going to take some prisoners. And we're going to upgrade. Um, what should we upgrade to? I might actually get some archers first. Well, it'll cost me 15 gold for the upgrade. So, yeah, let's upgrade to uh, an Imperial Archer. Uh, yeah, I, I, I basically... Um, I didn't do a huge amount of, of purchasing missile troops on my first campaign. It didn't really bother me that much until I, I ran into the, the step bandits on horses. Um, but um, what archers I did have came from forest bandits. They tend to be archery types. And you can only upgrade them to a certain point without having a, a trait that allows you to um, convert uh, bandit types into more official troops. And I didn't have that ability. Uh, so let's try the Imperial Archer. Um, see what they're like. Because I think if you right click, you can see the upgrade tree, which is also very handy. You can see the Imperial Archer goes all the way up to... Uh, uh, what's that? One, two, three, four, tier five. Uh, goes all the way up to tier 5. Uh, and you can get Imperial Palatine Guard. You can also split it off um, and, and make it a crossbowman if you like. If you prefer those. Um, yeah, I think I'm uh, going to go up the Archer Tree. Uh, the Infantry Imperial Legionary at the end of that tree there, which I, I really like. They're pretty solid troops. But uh, yeah, I do like that you can, you can just look at... You can even look at the upgrade tree for your... Uh, prisoners as well thing is though if i hire a looter i don't think i'm able to turn him into an imperial infantryman without a certain skill that i was on about so yeah we'll uh, just sell him off right loot we've got a bunch of loot we're we're going to take this and see if we can get an upgrade out of this gear rugged gamberson um so we get more body armor 
but less leg and arm armor. I think I'm going to go with the more body armor. Oh, we've got our knees out now. Uh, we can also wear a pilgrim's hood for a helmet. So we've got a little bit of head armor. Um, we did get some grain. We also got some wine. So that will keep us afloat a little bit longer. Um, let's see if we can recruit anyone from here. And we'll try and chase those guys over there. Ah, yes, we can. Good, good. All right, so we're up to a mighty 11 men in our party now. And we're going to go... Oh, are we? Are we going to chase them? Oh, that's 12. I mean, we should be able to handle 12, right? Right? <laughs> Save, just in case. They're only looters. And we've got a whole archer now. Okay, um, I'm going to move my dudes back here. Forward! Uh, actually, let's, let's move uh, infantry separately. So I'm pressing number one, and then F1, Forward! F1 to tell the infantry to stand there. Number two Forward! for the archer, F1, F1 move! to tell the, uh, the archer to stand on the hill hidden behind my infantry. So hopefully he'll be able to do some damage. Oh, they're throwing rocks at us. My horse is so slow. I need a new horse. Ow. Finally, we killed one. Oh. Kind of keeping them distracted. All right, infantry needs charge. with a spear once uh whoops once they're really close to you you can't really stab them all right we got him oh nice shot from the archer there finished off the last guy okay so uh we had one guy die just one of our imperial recruits but i managed to level up uh in medicine horse riding and polearm skill nice got another prisoner all right, more Imperial recruits ready to level up. So I'm going to make two more archers. Nice. Three archers now. Now, of course, this is going to up our uh, party cost. You can see there our daily wage is now 12, which is actually nothing, really. Got plenty of money to afford that. All right, we're going to take all of that loot and then uh, search for upgrades. Uh, wrapped leather, sorry, wrapped shoes. That's an upgrade. I'll take those. Uh, small spurred axe. What's that? 59 cut compared to my sword, which is 57 cut, 35 pierce. Don't really need that axe, do I? Although, it does get a bonus against shield. So you get um, these little symbols. Here, civilian one handed, one handed. Uh, the spear can be used one handed or two handed. Pole arm. So it tells you uh, what extra, whoops, what extra effects the weapons have. So I will equip that in case I feel like I need to smash somebody's shield in. Unlikely that I'll end up using it. Probably just going to be stabby stabby on on horseback most of the time. It's a lot safer up there. All right. So, uh, that's uh, another glorious victory. And where to next? Um, I mean, we're doing all right for food now. We've got four food. Uh, we're okay for money. Health, passable. So, we're just going to keep recruiting. And finding looters to smash. We're up to now. So, we've got 12 plus one wounded. Now... Having wounded troops actually slows your party movement speed down, which is another cool feature. Uh, so our movement speed will go up once that wounded guy 
is all patched up. Right, let's see. Let's see if we can find some looters. Aha! I see you. Right, uh, let's go after them. Uh, unfortunately, our wounded guy is slowing us down. Come on, wounded guy, get better. Well, we're going to chase this, this party of six looters to the ends of the earth. We'll catch him eventually. We'd also sell the prisoners at some point. There we go. We finally caught the party. All right, surrender or die. So fighting, oops, fighting in uh, woods is not exactly great Move. for uh, my archers. But we'll make do. Come on. I was kind of hoping my archers are going to butcher these guys. Oh, oh, that was dumb. Come on, archers. damage than I needed to. Yeah! Alright, so we got an extra point in horse riding and two in pole arms. So you get the deal there. Uh, I like how it shows you what, what's been upgraded at the end of the battle. That's pretty cool. You can see um, how many kills you got. So you can see there I killed six apparently. Um, my Imperial recruits got one. My archers got three. Oh no, sorry. That's six in total. I killed two personally. Uh, my archers got three and my recruits got one. And you can see how many died, how many wounded, how many routed. Obviously, none for us, but four of the enemies were killed, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and then we got a tiny bit of renown, a tiny bit of morale. Take two more prisoners. Now, you can uh, get this little symbol appear here, which uh, doesn't tell you about uh, something you end up figuring out. So I'll tell you guys about that. Uh, this little symbol will appear every now and then after a certain period of time. Uh, which means you are now allowed to recruit a prisoner. Um, so you can see there's a one by it. So one looter is willing to join my party now. Um, I don't want him, so I'm just going to leave that. But uh, So that's how recruiting prisoners works. You actually have to wait for this symbol to appear uh, to let you recruit them. I assume Stockholm Syndrome kicks in at some point. Um, right, what have we got here? More stuff to sell. Now, there's a limit on what I can carry. Uh, I'm far, far away from my limit at the moment. Now, this goes up based on the size of your party and depending on how many horses you've got as well, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, so what I can carry right now is not very much, but that will get bigger as my warband grows. All right, let's go for a save. Uh, I want to chase down this... Oh, they've gone out of my sight. All right, well, we'll just pop into uh, Saniopa, whatever this place is. Uh, we're going to go to the Tavern District. We're going to ransom our prisoners for 25. Uh, we'll go trade. As you can see, there's uh, all sorts of lovely stuff for sale. Um... I'm just here to sell, 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 really. A lot of stuff to sell. Um, and the economy works uh, as you might expect from playing previous titles, that the more stuff you sell... Um, uh, so, let me rephrase. Uh, the more of one item type you sell in a location, 
the lower the value of it becomes. So for example, if I had um, 20 bags of grain, at the moment they value at seven. If I sell five of those, for example, it'll, the value of, of that will drop. So it could drop down to like value six or five or four, you know. So uh, yeah, it works on a supply and demand economy basically. So the, the more uh, of something a place has, the lower the value is to that place of that thing. Hopefully that made sense to you guys. All right, now, could get an Imperial Gambeson with straps. Not amazing armor, but compared to what I have, it is. And, and armor goes a long way in this game. Um, if I get my armor up to a certain level, I'll be able to start taking on uh, arena fights and perhaps winning myself some money. Uh, but this will be very costly to buy this. So I'm, I'm going to do it, though, I think. Actually, I'm going to sell those wrap shoes. I'm keeping those. Well, I was keeping those um, to, to give to a companion. Um, but uh, I think we'll uh, we'll cope with that. We'll sell all of that. I, I'll get 475 for selling all of that, which more than covers the Imperial Gambeson that I'm about to buy. So we're going to buy that. And we'll chuck that on. I'll keep the Rugged Gambeson. That'll, that'll do for a companion. So my armor has gone up from six body armor to 14 body armor now. Uh, although I, I have no armor on the arms with this uh, Imperial Gambeson with straps. Um, but it is a, a vast improvement to my uh, uh, personal safety. So let's, uh, let's call that done. So if you go to the arena, there are various tournaments. As you can see here, there's a tournament going on right now. Um, now I could just enter this. Actually, I've only got 44% health. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Right, let's uh, let's actually just fight some more looters. I was going to say I could enter that and and not place any bets, so I don't lose any money uh, because there's a prize at the end of the tournament, um, and I might be able to grab myself some good gear. Um, my chances of winning a tournament with the gear I've got at the moment, I think, are pretty slim. I'm just not that skilled uh, a fighter, um, but once I've got decent armor, I am able to. Uh, start uh, winning those arena fights very regularly so um getting my gear up for for myself my personal dude uh is pretty important because that that i like fighting the arena fights i like being able to make money through the arena Move! fights basically right, let's get our archers placed get them firing infantry forward Infantry, move! I love how these, uh, these guys just get distracted by one dude on a horse circling around them. Hey, I gained a level. deliberately not engaging these guys because I, I want me to level up the most at the moment and also my archers because they're going to get they're going to be pretty good at just cutting down huge piles of uh, looters eventually all right what do we get there so uh, tactics and pole arms I'm just still pointing let's get this uh, no upgrades there but loot is always welcome. Right. Um, I want to take on this stuff. What have we got? Mountain bandits. How scary are mountain bandits? I don't know. Two parties of them. They're, they're chasing me down. There's no escape. So we're fighting whether we like it or not. Archers! So we're going to uh, place... Oh god, oh god, they're mounted. 
place the infantry down the hill. Oh no, this could be bad. Oh, my horse is already getting wrecked. Come on, archers. Take down the cavalry. No, oh, my beautiful horse. Oh, I'm sorry, horse. Come on, infantry. Don't fail me. Oh, God. I'm going to lose here. No! <laughs> One hit! There's a hillman in there with chainmail. He just hit me once and I'm doomed. Oh, God. Yeah, we've lost this fight. That's it. I'm, I'm getting captured. I, I put permanent death on, didn't I? So I might actually be dead. It's also a possibility. Well... That was, uh, that was brutal. We're not ready for Hillman yet. We need to just stick with looters. And we've got one, uh, one recruit bravely running away. Or tactically withdrawing, as Sarge prefers to call it. Well, great tactical withdrawal there. Oh, God. Am I dead? Am I dead? Uh, I mean, it doesn't say I'm dead. I gained some skill points. Uh, all of my dudes are dead, though, I think. This is bad. Uh, enemies take you prisoner. Will, will they steal all my gear, or will I get to escape with my gear, I wonder? After painful days of being dragged about as a prisoner, you find a chance to escape from your captors. Yay! I escaped! All right, do, do I still have my stuff? I've got my stuff. Um, oh, they took things, though. I don't have any food. That's a problem. Uh, oh, okay, right. One grain. Um, pay nine. <sighs> Pricey. Recruit troops. Yes, please. <laughs> oh. oh, we got so wrecked. <laughs> right, um... Where am I going to go? Away from the mountain bandits, that's where. Okay. Oh, we found a hideout. A hideout that we're uh, nowhere near able to take on. Right, we've got looters over there. We've got six of us. Five of them. Sounds fair. Oh, my health's very low, though. Oh, do I still have my horse or did they take my horse? I've still got my horse. Okay, good. This might be a mistake. <laughs> Let's find out. Where are the minstrels? <laughs> Good question, Chico. Charge! We're just going to uh, charge recklessly. Yeah. Good spear to your face. Okay, so recruits seem to make very quick work of looters. That's no problem. So we just we just need to stick with fighting looters, I think. What did I get there? Horse riding and pole arms. Cool. We got ourselves a prisoner. Ah, nice. Some grain there. have a little bit of food to spare as well okay uh where am i gonna go next oh, let, let's head into this settlement here oh 11 looters can i handle 11 looters uh, i don't know maybe if i pick up a couple more recruits three more recruits to be precise uh puts us on nine yeah, i'm still on no health at all but i'm pretty sure we can handle that Something I've not mentioned so far, um, obviously the <laughs> Mountain Blade um, Warbands was a very, very long time ago now. So obviously the graphics have come a long way since then and now. You see, look, 
see little bits of grass flicking up from the horse, butterflies here and there. Like, and and particularly noticeable for me anyway is ow, 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 ow. Um, is that rocks really hurt? Now is uh, that when you when you go into the pre-fight uh, screen, obviously the graphics on that look a lot better than they did previously. Um, which uh, which is nice, I think. There we go. I assume some of our guys died there. Uh, no, nobody died. Wow. Now we're we're gaining renown and morale for each of these fights. We're doing. Oh, we can upgrade again. Let's get some archers. Wooden hammer. No upgrades for me there, but we'll take all the stuff anyhow. Right, so uh, we've got party morale. So recent events are giving my party minus 10.93 morale. Well, that's because we recently got a butt kicked. All of those guys are dead, so it's only my morale that's being affected, I guess. Um, and uh, you can improve that by having variety of food and winning stuff. So uh, you get that morale up that way. Um, uh, what else was I going to talk about? Oh, yeah, that was it. So, we can't see it yet, because um, we're clan tier 0 still, but Renown 41 right now. Uh, I need to do the objectives here to uh, start a clan at tier 1, uh, before I'll see a bar then, and you can keep levelling your clan up in, in the top corner. But first, I've got to get 2,000 dinars, and I've got to get 20 men. Um, Clan tier one. Oh, right. Also, I need 50 renowned. So uh, we're getting there. We also need to hire a companion. They're, they're pretty expensive. My health is low. Can I recruit troops from here? I can. Okay. Is there an arena? For there is an arena tournament going on. All right, we need to trade. Thing is, there's no point in me uh, doing an arena fight um, while I've got no health. <laughs> I, I won't survive any time at all. I can also really use some improvements to uh, my gear. Um, I might actually just buy myself an Imperial Open Mail Coif. Get a little bit more armor. Let's do that. Sell that hood. Okay, we look uh, like some kind of peasant militia right now. All those prisoners. So I haven't gone to a tavern yet. So let's visit a tavern because the taverns are vastly improved as well. They look much better now than they did before. Um, more going on in them. Um, and of course, you've still got the troops you can hire. Uh, usually there'll, there'll be something around. There we go, mercenary swordsmen. I can't afford to to hire any, obviously. Uh, there's a ransom broker there. Um, and there are companions, same as in the, the previous game, dotted around that you can hire. I don't think there are any in this location. I don't see any. Um, but just so, just so you get a good look at you know, what, this, uh, what this place is like, I'm just going to have a wander around. Um, Pretty good going, I think. Uh, okay. That's definitely not a violin that he's playing there, even though the music I'm hearing is violin sounding. Ah, hold on. There is a companion in this room up here. Do you know what? I've checked these upstairs areas before, and I've never found a companion actually in these rooms um now now i'll have to check them more thoroughly because i this is the first time i've seen one up here and i know uh we can actually get one so uh Citicia the wronged uh, my name is doyle madam tell me about yourself i'll tell you my story if it bothers you i prefer you keep it to yourself unless you've lived months on crusts of bread and chaff of grain that is my father was a merchant at like lycaron uh, we lived in a rich house with many servants. I wanted for nothing. Our neighbour was a money lender who specialised in loans to the Imperial Guard. That turned out to be a bad neighbourhood in which to live, live when the riots came. 
Guardsmen came to burn our neighbor's house so their debts would be forgotten. The flames spread to our house and it was destroyed. My father tried to save his strongbox and that was his undoing. A riot is a holiday for thieves and robbers and some saw him dragging it through the streets so they knifed him and took it. We tried to find shelter with my uncle but there was no food in the city and he turned us out. So we joined the refugees in the country living on what we could steal from the fields. I found a guardsman alone and drunk. I have no idea whether he was one of the ones that set fire to our neighbourhood. Maybe I should not have done to him what I did to him, but now I have his sword. It's been very useful. Starving do what they must. I think my story shows that I'm adaptable at least. There was room for me in a warlord's retinue, say. I imagine I could quickly learn whatever skills were needed. Uh, right now I'm between jobs, so if you've got any work for me, I'm willing to discuss it. I could use someone like you. Uh, she wants 1,133 dinars. I can't afford that. Okay, bye. Sorry, you're too expensive. Uh, we're going to have to save up a lot of money to be able to pick up companions. I'm saying that like I didn't know that already. Some are cheaper than others, though. I think I, I found a companion for like 800-ish, uh, 800, 800 and something before. Don't know if I've seen anyone cheaper than that, though. Right, we are going to wait here for some time. And uh, try to get our health up and see if that tournament's still going by the time my health's up. It's going to cost me money, though, while I sit here. And food, of course. Hopefully it'll be worth it. All right, hang on a minute. Whoops, that's not what I want. I want to stop waiting because I can see... Well, not the mountain bandits. I don't want to fight those. But I can see some uh, juicy looters over there. So we'll chase those down. Um, I'm pretty much giving up on that um, tournament now. I think I'll have moved too far. Too many days will have gone by. What I'm going to do here is uh, avoid taking any damage myself. Because I, I want to be able to... Uh, get some uh, tournaments in, see if I can improve my gear. So uh, I'm just going to let my uh, my guys deal with this. Move! Archers, forward! Infantry, forward! I'm sure they'll be able to handle this. Soldier well, I'm certain they'll be able to handle this. I just need to make sure I don't get hit by anything. Yay, I gained this skill point in tactics. Or looters. Make them prisoner. And more stuff. Thank you very much for your lovely stuff, looters. Alright, health is going up. Uh, where shall we go next? I've got 13 troops right now. I need to get to 20, but it's not really... Um, worth worrying about until uh, I've got more money as well because I need the, the 2,000 uh, maybe I can take on three mountain bandits go for that if you're wondering why I'm constantly saving it's because th this is an early access game crashes can occur in any game really even AAA full launch games um, and I hate having to redo things I've already done in the event of a crash so or lose progress due to a gang crash. Um, I'm not intending on save scumming. You saw uh, I lost a battle earlier. We took our knocks. All right, let's go for these mountain bandits. Archers forward! Uh, again, my intention is to uh, not get involved Put myself. I want to get my health up so I can attempt a tournament. Now, with tournaments, uh, the weapon loadout you're given... Um, sorry, the weapon loadouts you have, you are given um, as part of the tournament. Um, whereas the armor you wear is all your own. So that's why my priority will be to uh, get myself some good uh, body armor, good cloak or shoulder armor, and a good helmet. 
and that will stand me in good stead. Well, and gloves as well, I suppose. That will stand me in good stead for winning fights in the arena. If I can prioritise uh, improving that stuff early. Managed to capture a brigand. Imperial recruit! Turn into archer! Yay, we now got four archers. Western javelin. Ooh. Ooh. More cut, not as much pierce. It's only a little bit more cut. I'm not gonna uh, not gonna use that myself. I might equip these javelins though in place of that axe. Gives me something to throw. The armoured baggy trunks. I'm just going to show you these because they're kind of funny. There we go. <laughs> Take the scarf off. There we go. That That is... Uh, apparently, that's armour. And, and unsurprisingly, it gives you one body armour. So I guess for the belt. Uh, and eight leg armour. But yeah, it's, uh, it's not good. Still no gloves so far. Okay, I'm up to 90% health now. Maybe we'll uh, we'll have a crack at a tournament by the time I arrive. Um, all right, there is a tournament going on, and you can see there's a leaderboard for the tournament as well. On my other campaign, I am top by a long way because that's how I've made most of my money is doing tournaments. But on this one, I'm down at the bottom. Now this victories column seems to not be working because it just says one for everyone all the time. But the prize column does change. So I assume that's something that needs fixing. Again, this is early access. Um, right. Let's uh, go to the Tavern District. Let's ransom the prisoners first. Do a bit of trading. Get rid of all of this, I think. Nice. 422 gold for that. It's not bad. Uh, I might actually get myself a desert horse because my sumpter horse is just appalling. Yeah, desert horse. Let's get an upgrade. So we're going to keep the sumpter horse though because, uh, as I explained, it helps that you see now I've got a pack animal. It's giving me plus 100 capacity. That's because of this sumpter horse that can carry stuff. Uh, and also, as I said, your infantry can ride horses if you have enough of them. Uh, one horse is not going to cut it for my infantry, but... Um, we will be keeping as many horses as we can as we go. Um, what else do I want to do? Buy some shoulder pads. And some braces. Um, yeah, do you know what? I'm going to buy the braces because that, that gives me extra arm armor. And uh, I don't really have any right now, so that'll be handy for when I'm in the tournament. We'll buy that. There we go. We've got some lovely uh, studded braces now. Um, body armor plus two compared to body armor plus six and arm armor plus four. I think I actually want to blow a load of money on these woven leather shoulders as well, because that's actually uh, quite an upgrade to both my arms and my body if I equip those. Oh, they they match my uh, my braces as well. Right, I'm going to sell the scarf. I know uh, mitigate some of that cost. Uh, that's pretty pricey, five hundred and forty nine. Hopefully it will be worth it though. All right, uh, we are now going to enter the arena. Now, as in the last game, you can place bets on yourself while you're in the arena and earn loads of money back. That's how I've made most of my money. Um, for this one, I'm not expecting to win because I'm just some peon with really terrible equipment uh, and not very much experience. So I'm not going to place bets on myself. But I will enter because if I do manage to fluke my way through, the tournament prize is a southern male coif, which will be a nice improvement to my head armor, I think. And if not, I can sell it. So we're not going to place a bet, but if I wanted to, you can do it like this. And I, I'd always place the maximum bet that I could afford. Uh, but right now, we're not going to do any betting because I just don't have the money for it. I've only got 282. So instead, we'll just join. So we gain nothing, but also we lose nothing if, if we uh, get smashed here. Other than, you know, a little bit of pride, which I don't really care about. Uh, 
Oh, don't stop it. Stop it. Stop chasing me. Take out anyone that looks like they've got a lot of armor first, because I don't want to be facing those in later rounds. No, nope, you can go away. You've got virtually no armor. Because obviously the guys with better armor are tough for me to take out, especially with my uh, pathetic abilities at this stage of the game. No, nope, go away. Go away. Leave me alone. Stop it. Blue team is still hanging in there. Oh, nice. Oh, stop it. Go after the green team. Nice. Oi! Ow! Nope. Misjudge that timing. Okay. me. <laughs> nice. Get wrecked. Okay, so that was that was just round one, though. <laughs> Let's not get cocky. <laughs> so, for this one, we've got an Imperial Recruit and Imperial Crossbowman on our side. Oh, well, they've got an Imperial Egg White. Um, we're going to lose this next round unless Tammy on the Robber is, is an ultra boss. We are uh, we're in trouble, but at least we did manage to uh, knock out um, this uh, this team with the Imperial Legionary and the Imperial Cataphract there. I didn't fancy fighting those. Uh, right, so we're just going to join oh, horse back again. Got one guy out. And take out the cavalry first. Cavalry okay, dealt with be able to win this now for our team. Okay. Um, right, so we skip that round because we're not in it. Now we've got to defeat Tamian the Robber to get into the final. What happens if we bet here? That's not worth it. Okay. Oh, this time we're fighting with sword and shield. Okay, he was uh, pretty easy to defeat. So we are in the final now. Still don't want to bet any money because... Uh, yeah, I, I, I might lose and then I'll have no money and I won't be able to pay my troops and it'll be a disaster. <laughs> so we're just going to fight. And again, it's a sword fight one-on-one. -on -one. go and we won so this is how i like to make my money as i said um i don't have enough money to be betting in case i lose right now but i do uh, have the ability to uh, win a nice tasty prize and there's all sorts of different prizes you can get from winning these tournaments um i really really like how it works in this version of the game in, in bannerlord uh, i also gain quite a nice chunk of renown for for winning tournaments as well so we gain plus three for that so let's, uh, let's leave. We got all the way through to the final and won it. And we walk away with a southern male coif. So I'm going to check to see if that's better than what I'm currently wearing. It is. So what I'm currently wearing gives 14 head armor. This will give 18. So I'm going to put that on. There we go. We have improved our, uh, our armor levels now. I'm going to keep that open male coif though because that, that can go on a companion later on right um let's uh, let's go find another city i guess mm, 
Let's go up there. There was a tournament going on up there. It's probably going to be over by the time I reach it, but may as well find out. I've got enough food. I've got um, health. I've got a tiny bit of money. Hopefully we'll be all right. Oh, looters. Yes, we are going to go smash the looters because we need to uh, keep generating whatever money we can so that we can stay afloat and keep affording to pay the wages of my tiny uh, little war band. Hey, McDog, how are you doing? Good to see you. House performance looks like it stutters a little. There are points, uh, like when uh, you're at the start of a battle, uh, it does seem to stutter a bit while it's still loading everything in, but um, I'm running everything on maximum. So I could probably fix that by reducing things a bit. I just like it looking pretty and I'm, I'm willing to cope with the small amount of stuttering at the start of a fight. Um, but yeah, uh, it, it's, it's probably just that, that that's doing it. I could reduce the graphics. But look how pretty it looks. Uh, right, let's go attack. Hello, Rusty PC Gaming. Uh, I can't click your link at the moment because uh, I don't want to tab out and run the risk of Charge! breaking the game. Um, but welcome to the stream. Uh-oh. Oh, they, they appeared a little bit quicker than I expected over the hill there. I've gained a level. Oh, I should really go uh, my character screen, shouldn't I? Okay, that'll do. Looks like we uh, we had some losses there. I think that wasn't my archers because I, I kind of completely forgot to place them sensibly. What did we lose? Uh, uh, just two recruits, that's fine. Gained a point in medicine. See what we get. Uh, that'll do. We've got some food out of it. Right, so let's go to the character screen. Because, uh, yeah, I've now got one uh, attribute point and three skill points to spend. Uh, I'm going to try putting stuff into social this time. I want to. I really want to get that leadership thing that allows me to train troops quicker. So I've got three points there. So this maxes that out. So now I'm learning leadership skill at the maximum rate it's possible to learn it at um, from the individual skill anyway. Um, but my attribute point, I think I can get it even higher if I put an attribute point in here as well. I can. So I pumped everything into social, but as I said, I really want to get this combat tips ability. There's all sorts of uh, stuff here that's helpful, like lower wage for tier one to four troops. Nice as well. Oh, also lower wage for tier four, five and six troops. That's probably more useful. <laughs> Veterans respect. So, yeah, I, I mean, I really want to get this leadership up because I, I want to be uh, a mighty leader of men. And uh, the combat stuff, on my other game, I, I've, you know, rushed up the combat stuff as quickly as I can. Um, that's the most important to me on that game. Um, and it has uh, done me well. Like I say, I've been winning arena fights over and over with it. But I think on this one, we'll do it a little bit differently. We'll go for the leadership stuff. Um, we can afford to uh, be a little bit more patient about getting our combat skills up, I think. All right, I'm going to... Uh, I thought I had prisoners. Apparently I don't have prisoners. Um, there's a tournament going on here. Excellent. So we're going to enter that. I'm at 100% health. So let's join. Um, again, I'm not going to be betting any money because I don't have enough money. But I can get myself a, a classy looking sword there if I do manage to win. <laughs> let's see how we do though. We do, of course, have our improved helmet since the last tournament we did.
Well, we got through round one anyway. Okay, team fight next. I think odds are slightly in our favour. Uh oh. Not so good with destroying weapons. there. Yes, please. Yes, please. Don't mind if I do. Let, let me ride it. Oh, I'm not allowed? Is that, is that too good a horse for me? Looks like we won. Nice. Probably uh, more thanks to my uh, teammates than me, though. Right. Palatine Guard, Train Infantryman, but I've got the Legionary on my side. See how this goes. Ah. Archery. Try and get his back facing my archer. But he gets uh, shot by him a lot. Ow. This guy's a tough nut. Oh, he's down though. Go for the archer. Oh, 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 oh. Shield up, shield up. Nice. Tactics for the win. <laughs> okay. Unfortunately, now I've got to defeat this Imperial Legionary in the final, which uh, is probably going to be pretty tricky. Because he's got a million armor on all locations. Also, he's more skilled than I am in a fight. Oh, ah, uh, no! He fooled me! Ow! He just decided to take that one to the face to get free slashing on me as well. Ow! Again, one hit and I'm down. No! Fail! Oh, well, I didn't think I was going to beat him. I need a little bit more armor so that I can... Uh, Take a few more hits to defeat him. Never mind. So we didn't win the sword. But we didn't lose any money either. It was worth a try. Right. Where are we at? So we've got nine dudes, two wounded at the moment. Uh, let's move on somewhere else. Let's go to this village. Dodge the mountain bandits because they're scary. Find ourselves some more looters. Ah, there's some looters. Come here, looters. More looters there. Uh oh, mountain bandits. Stop, stop, stop. Go the other way. Don't want to fight all of that at once. Go take on this uh, band of eight looters instead, away from the mountain bandits. Okay, well, they're moving out. 4.9, and we're 3.9. It's going to take us a little while to catch them, but they are turning corners, which allows us to catch up. We got them. It's a little bit dark. I thought I had more than three archers. Ah, oh, some of them must be wounded. Infantry! Move! If we can uh, hit anyone with a javelin. Oh, we got one! Bunch of them with the javelin. Oh, hello. Nice. Well, we gained some skill in throwing weapons for that, as well as horse riding. All good. More lovely loot. So, how are we doing on our quest? How much renown have we got now? We only need three more renown to hit that objective. Still need to hire a companion. Nowhere near enough money for that. And we are a long way off getting enough dinars 
together. Uh, not worrying about party size, that can come, that could probably be the last thing I do, because the bigger the party, the higher the wage cost and the harder it will be for me to generate money. Um, so I'm not going to go nuts with, with party size yet. Um, let's see if we can uh, find another tournament to enter. Either that or we'll uh, kill some looters on the way. Three looters, barely really worth that. Oh, hello. Uh, there's five right here. Let's see if we can uh, catch these guys. Chase them into a corner. There we go. It's uh, it's slow going making money by taking out looters because I don't really have anything particularly valuable. But, you know, every little helps. Bowman! Move! <laughs> that was not a good javelin throw. No. <laughs> Need to aim higher, I think. Or go to point blank range. No, no, still failing. more like it. Okay, so they had some peasants captive. Um, I could add these peasants to my forces if I like, but I'm not going to because, uh, well, okay. Peasants are free, though. If, if I click them here, you'll see the wage is zero. So, you know, that's a thing. You can get your party size up nice and easily um, without having to pay wages for them. Um, but they uh, they don't really uh, turn into anything particularly good. Um, oh, I can't actually click the tree from there. I'd have to recruit them first. So let, let's bring one in. Um, and then I'll show you why I, I'm not interested in them. Oh, a pack camel. Yes, please. We'll have that. Right. Um, so let's go to party. Oh, it won't show me the upgrade tree for the peasants. Apparently, uh, peasant upgrade tree not working yet. So again, early access. Uh, but anyway, you, you can see here, I can upgrade it to a watchman. And I know from having watchman, the upgrade tree for watchman not really that great they're kind of mercenary troops and they they get expensive and uh, they're not really worth in my opinion um i i prefer to have like imperial troops or battalion troops i like those or you know some cavalry or whatever um uh, right still just going to keep creating archers for now though what do we got now oh we've actually got a trained archer now one of our archers is better than the other archers he is now trained uh, we're going to stick on the uh, the bows, I think. So what we got now? So we've got five Imperial Archers and one Train Archer. That's six Archers in total. And we've got four Recruits. So I could get ten Archers together. That wouldn't be bad, would it? We've got one Looter as a prisoner. Um, where was I headed again? I don't even remember. <laughs> I was just randomly chasing things, wasn't I? Right, let's uh, let's head south. I want to go to a big settlement, see if we can uh, try our hand at winning another tournament. Plenty of food at the moment. Just uh, hitting those little enemy warbands, the little looter warbands, is uh, providing us a nice supply of food so far. So I don't need to worry about buying that. Um, and it's also giving us pocket change as well when we get to the trader. Selling little bits. Okay. Um, archers! The archers on the hill. Probably just let them deal with everything, I think. Not many here.
Yep. So that's why I want archers early on, because <laughs> I, I think uh, you get enough decent archers, you're going to be untouchable by looters, and it's just going to be easy money. It'll allow me to keep my health up as well without having to engage and accidentally get myself uh, smashed in. We've got two trained archers now. I could also recruit this looter if I want. I don't want, though. Another pack camel. Excellent. So you see now we've got uh, th plus 300 from pack animals. So uh, we're, uh, we're able to carry much more than we could before. Uh, something else I like about this game, worth mentioning, that's different to uh, Warband, is uh, stuff can stack. So obviously I've got two camels. Instead of having to have all of these things take a separate slot in your inventory, no longer a problem. You've just got a, a, a capacity limit number uh, and, and items stack instead. So obviously a vast improvement on uh, the system they had in the last game. All right, let's head over here. Now up to nine food. It was ten for a moment. Morale's ticking up nicely. All right, let's go do some trading. Sell the blacksmith hammers, the wooden hammer. Good. I'm going to keep that. I'm just going to lock that. I don't think lock actually works yet, but at least the highlighter works. Uh, so it allows me to see stuff that I don't want to sell. Ooh, arm wraps. They're, they're rubbish, but um, I'll keep them for a companion. Okay. Uh, so 174 for our little haul there. Just check, see if there's anything I want to grab. As I said, I am trying to slowly improve myself so I'm uh, more able to take on the tournaments. Hmm. Imperial Cavalry Armour. 41,878. A little bit out of my price range. Uh, it's good armour though. Body 32, leg 12, arm 10. Pretty good all round. Plated striped or stripped gauntlets. Um, hmm. Very expensive though. Splint boots. Too expensive. Yeah, we're uh, we're not going to spend anything this time. We are too poor for that. Right, let's uh, ransom our prisoners. Don't get much for that, do we? Uh, there is another tournament on the go here, so uh, let's try a look at that. Again, I'm not going to be betting any money because if we lose in the final, we lose a lot of money. Uh, oh, that's a great helmet. Oh man, I'm not going to be able to win that, am I? That's just too good. One-on-one -on -one fight. What am I against? Trained infantrymen. Probably better than I am. He's trained. Ow! Aha! Your training was no match for my lack of training. <laughs> my wild swinging. Right, uh, oh, look. There's a heavy horseman and a legionary all on one team. A cataphract and a character on one team. We're screwed here. There's no way I'm getting through this. Two teams make it through. Okay. Oh, God. And I've got missile weapon. <laughs> Why are they standing there facing each other? Uh oh. Oh, I got him. I got him. All right, give me your stuff. Give me your stuff. Quick. Quick. Give stuff. Okay. Oh no. Oh, there's only me and him left. It's all right. We've made it through. Doesn't matter if this guy kicks me in. Still going to try and beat him. Aha. Ow. No, no. 
Went for a risky kick. Did not work. Oh, no! <laughs> okay, we still qualified because two teams made it through. Right. Um, uh, okay. Okay. Right, skip that round. The cataphract made it through, obviously. That's the guy that's just beaten my ass in round two. So we're going to have to face him in the final, even if I beat this guy here. <laughs> oh, well. Let's worry about this guy first, though. <coughs> Ow! Kidding me. Hang my shield up. We beat the crossbow, man. <laughs> Can we beat the cataphract in the final? I don't think I'm going to beat the cataphract. I think the cataphract's got too many hit points and too much armor for me to beat. <coughs> for me to beat him, I, I'm just not skilled enough to uh, avoid taking hits. Ah! Fainting on me. Fainting. Yes! Oh, we won! That was exhausting. Shield almost broke, but we won. So we gained three renown, and we gained a full helm over laced coif. Whatever that is. <laughs> it looks better than what we've got, though. And we win another tournament. Uh, no, I want inventory. So that gives 42 head armor. 42! That's a lot better than what I had. Yeah, now we're looking like serious business. Look at that. Full face mask and everything. And right, we're going to keep that and keep that. They can go to companions. Um, wow, that was pretty cool. So uh, we're, we're uh, a lot tougher in the head than we were before. Doyle hoarding all the PPE. <laughs> Just call me China. Um, <laughs> in fact, uh, you guys probably haven't heard of it, but there, there's a news story uh, yesterday that I saw, or last night, where um, the, the French and the Germans were, were trying to buy a, a, a bunch of PPE from China, uh, and they were like, at an airport or something, as so the story goes. And the Americans showed up with wads of cash and paid like three times the going rate for the PPE. So the French and the Germans are really angry with America right now because you came in with all your money <laughs> and bought all the PPE from under their noses. Um, <laughs> it probably didn't make your news, did it? But uh, look in European news, you'll probably see stuff on it. Okay, what have we got here? Uh, yeah, nothing that we're selling. See if there's anything we want to buy. Tall helmet. Oh, I have a, I have a much better helmet. I've got a full helm over laced coif. Uh, can I get any improved armor? No. Nope. 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 Catch says I heard about that. You can't put a price on buying your way out of a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ah, there's another tournament on here. All right, we're, we're going to enter this then. We can get a camel called Hussan Free. Okay. Uh, not really the prize I was hoping for, but here we go. Ha <laughs> ha 
We defeated you with our tactics. And my really tough head. Okay, so two teams make it through this one. He's chasing me. I'm going for the Imperial Heavy Horseman. I don't want him to make it through to the next round. Stop. Oh, he's gone down, he's gone down. Okay. Oh. No, no. <laughs> I was hitting the wrong one. This guy's the heavy horseman. Oops. I thought, oh, I got confused. Never mind. Okay, so an equite. An equite? Equite? I don't know how you say that. Uh... And a heavy horseman versus me and an Imperial Infantryman. We're screwed here. There's no way I'm winning this fight. They got far too much armor. And my buddy's just going to get wrecked immediately. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Yes. Imperial Infantryman for the win. I can't believe we won that. Okay. Final fight. Do I think I can beat this guy? Is it worth a bet? I mean, I get no virtually nothing if I if I place that bet anyway. There's no point. Um, <laughs> let's just fight. There we go. Easy win. Yes. So uh, we win ourselves a camel. Brilliant. Chico says, you've obviously never had camel eggs. <laughs> That's not a thing. Unless it is a thing and they're just talking about testicles again. It's probably something Sarge eats regularly. Right, uh, what are we going to do now? Uh, we just won something. Uh, do I have prisoners? I don't have prisoners. I don't have enough money to hire a companion, so I guess we leave and we go hit these looters here. Come here, looters. Come here. Oh, there's some more there as well. Oh, and more there. Oh, oh. Almost had to fight two bands at once. I think we'd be fine, though. We've got, um, got a good number of archers now. I cut them down. Very efficiently. Ah, oh, there's a, a party of 11 just uh, to the north of us. Go for them in a moment. Okay, so let's get archers Forward! there. Infantry! Infantry at the bottom of the hill. Forward! And I'm just going to stand here. Like, like the lord I am. With my big helmet. <laughs> On archers, they're doing a lot of missing. There we go. <laughs> We've been blessed. I can't believe I'm gaining renown for just standing there. <laughs> like, it's fine. My my low grade troops will deal with this for me. Ooh, right. Um. Another archer. I'll move that to the bottom, actually. It's getting confusing. So, yeah, highest level at the top. Okay. A uh, bunch more loot. And we've got another fight right here. So we're going to go straight into this. 11 versus 11. This is not a fair fight. I don't stand a chance. Right, let's get my archers up here. 
Where are they all coming from? Oh, they're over there. I see. Archers! Move! Perhaps my archers will be a bit more accurate if I place them the other side of the bush. Soldiers! Move! Infantry doing all right down there. With just three of them. Oh, one's gone down. It's fine. I kind of only want ten troops at the moment. Anyway. Well, a party of ten, I should say. Right. Another win. Oh, he didn't die. He was just knocked out. Doing fine. More prisoners. Thank you very much. Another archer's leveled up. To a trained archer. Oh, I've got three trained archers now. You can see uh, their little experience bar there. So, <laughs> pretty close to be able, being able to get an Imperial Veteran Archer soon. Then we're really in business. More stuff to sell. And, very handily, we are right by a settlement. Go here and do some trading. So, very, very, very small amounts of money for selling these. But when you've got a lot of stuff to sell, it adds up. 192 for that. Not the biggest haul ever, is it? I mean, I could start doing some trading. But I find trading... I mean, okay. So, let's point this out. So, if you look at the velvet here, you'll see the velvet here costs 101 dinars. Uh, and you can see on the little information box that's popped open that... It tells you trade rumours, which is kind of cool. So I can find out where I can make profits selling this velvet. But they're not totally accurate. They're kind of, like I said, they are described as rumours. So the prices are not exactly as you see there. Um, but you can make money doing this. Uh, and it does improve your trade skill. Um, but the trouble with doing it is you have to be holding stuff. And, and then make your way deliberately to the places where you can sell the stuff. Um, and, and I find I'd rather just enter tournaments and fight war bands and just take a slower path than trading. Um, I, I did a bunch of trading on my first game um, and I just got bored with it, basically. I, I, you know, trading is trading. It's just not that interesting. Um, so uh, uh, I'm not going to do any trading here, I don't think. I'm just going to ignore that um, and just do my own thing. Uh, Basically, that's one of the things I love about this game um, and, and the previous ones before it is you make your own fun. You do what's fun for you. There are lots of ways to succeed in this game. If you find an aspect of it dull and uninteresting, don't do it. Do something else uh, and do what you enjoy. And that's what I'm what I'm doing. And one of the things that I do enjoy is uh, fighting in the arena. Uh, let's have a look at the leaderboard now. Where are we? We've moved up. Oh, we're at number 38 now with three prizes. Uh, but there's no tournament here, so we're going to move on. Um, where shall we go next? Go the, down here, I think. Right, um, let's see if, oh, there's nothing happening here either. Disappointment. Okay, let's try taking on those mountain bandits. There's only four of them. We've got a bone to pick with, oh God. <laughs> Saying we've got a bone to pick with mountain bandits and then suddenly loads of them showed up. Don't think we're ready to take on that many of them. Uh oh, they're chasing me. They're chasing me. They're chasing me. I think they're faster than me as well. Oh god, we're going to have to fight 12 mountain bandits. This is going to sting. Oh god. Oh god. Please no. <laughs> the looters are coming in as well. Oh, 
Oh, Jesus. We're going to make it. We're going to make it. I mean, we can fight eight, but 12? I'm not, not convinced. Our last attempt at Mountain Bandits ended in complete disaster. Okay, we made it. We escaped them. Um, what have we got here? Ooh, a wicker shield. Hmm. Quite a lot more hit points on it, but my shield hasn't broken yet, so probably don't really need to spend the money on it, do I? Uh, ooh, Imperial Padded Shoulders. They're a lot better. No, no, I don't have the money. Why, why am I looking at things I can't afford? I'm just torturing myself here. Um, I'm looking for arena fights, and there isn't an arena fight here. So we're going to move on. Uh, where to next? Let's go Jalmaris. Jalmaris? Jalmaris? I don't even know. Uh, oh, there's looters there. We, we seem to have escaped the mountain bandits for now, so we're going to take on these looters. Did I see a party of 16 down to the south? That, that would be good. Oh, there's nine there. Be a lot easier to catch. Oh, we've caught the four first. All right, there's tons of looters around here. We're going to wreck all these looters. Would be nice to get a two-handed weapon as well. I see uh, chat's talking about uh, they're watching Tex swinging a two-hander wildly. Uh, I wouldn't Forward. mind getting one. They are, they are good. At the moment, the only two-handed thing I've got is uh, a spear. Die, you bastard. <laughs> I'm so bad at throwing javelins. Oh, there we go. We've got that guy. Yay! <laughs> right. We don't get very much renown for that victory. Just fighting four guys. We did get a bit of loot, though. We'll take it. All right, now, I want to go after this party of nine here. Come here. Come here. I demand your things. Still got Watch a bone out. to pick with the mountain Move. bandits. Infantry. We will Move. bide our time, though, eventually. Our moment will come. Archer, seems like a better place for the archers. Infantry, move! No. I need a longer spear, actually. I keep misjudging my uh, spear stabs because I've spent a lot of time using um, the one I've got on my other campaign, which is much longer than this. Also stabs a lot faster as well, so the timing's totally different. So I'm going in with this and just swinging wildly and missing all the time. All right, we've got looter. Oh, another archer's ready. Excellent. Gore sits on horse, watches battle, plus one riding. <laughs> this is how it's done, Catch. This is how it's done. Uh, okay. Uh, where am I now? Oh, I was just there recently, wasn't I? Ooh, there's a hideout there. I'm not going to take that one, though. I'm going to wait till I've got some companions before I start taking out hideouts. Companions are great, especially once you've got them geared up. I will ignore those looters. Oh, I think that settlement just switched owners. Oh, 14 looters. Yeah, that's a fight we want to take. Bring it. Yes. You may outnumber us in, in dudes, but you don't have classes. All right, let's uh, send the infantry there, I think. Forward! Bowman, move! Infantry, move! Oh, I really only have one infantryman left. Excellent. Almost got uh, a full squad of archers. Infantry, move! Kill them all! 
sent in our one infantryman. <laughs> he's getting a bit bad. Oh, he's doing all right. He's doing all right. Oh, he died. Where's the other one gone? There's one running that way. Did he, did he get away? Oh, I don't think so. I think he's dead as well. Yeah, we killed all 14. There we go. We gained more renown and morale for that. Definitely uh, going to uh, get our renown up quicker if we take on bigger warbands. But we've got to find bigger warbands first. Oh, six looters there. We'll take whatever we can get. Still got to get to 2,000 gold. Aha, we got him. Hmm. Bowman! Forward! Haha, <laughs> get wrecked. Follow me. Follow me towards my handy, trusty archers that are doing all the work for me. Yeah. <laughs> You're getting shot. <laughs> Alright. There we go. I contributed. <laughs> I stabbed two guys. Gain more riding. Yeah, you gain riding skill just literally by riding around. Like, just travelling gains you riding skill. As long as you're on horseback. Uh, if you're on foot, you gain athletic skill instead. Obviously, that makes sense. Oh, let's see if there's a tournament here. There is a tournament here! Ooh. Okay, let's uh, ransom our prisoners. Do some trading. Three hundred and forty-seven gold. That was quite a nice haul. All right, can I get a better spear? I don't like this one. Ah, uh, I can't really afford it, can I? Well, that one's even shorter. Um, hmm. I should just sit on my money, shouldn't I? I need to get up to two thousand. There's the cavalry armor again. So we're, we're not far off 2,000 now, but then, of course, we need more than 2,000 because I've got to be able to afford a companion as well. So, you know. Oh, also, I'm, I've been ignoring these quests. Like, you can do quests for guys at settlements and villages and stuff. Uh, they have a little blue exclamation mark if there's a quest. Uh, just so you know, that's the thing you can do. You can make money doing that, uh, and there's nothing wrong with doing that either. Um, it's just... I've done a bunch of that uh, on my other game, and uh, I just want to fight arenas today. That's the main thing I want to do. So we're traveling around, kicking in little war bands, and doing arena stuff. All right. We can get a horse from this one. That's not really what I wanted. Oh, stab my teammate. Oh god, these guys are well tooled up. Alright, we, we only need to come in the top two teams to get through. Ow. Right, there we go. <laughs> we qualified, but that team is brutal. How are we going to beat that team? Hmm. Oh, they're on my side now. That's good. We'll, we'll take it. Still means I'm going to have to fight them at some point, though. Uh, 
Oh, I'm a terrible shot. Oh, sorry, buddy. You got in my way. Aha, there we go. Anyone left? You. They're not very good with a boat. Oh, still managed to get a couple of kills, though. Yay, victory! Alright, uh... Oh, I'm gonna have to fight that cataphract in the final, aren't I? Yeah. I mean, she should be easy. She's wearing, like, a... Dr What's that? A tunic? No helmet. Smash her in the face. There we go. Yeah! I'm Lord Helmet. You're no helmet. Alright, now I've got to fight the cataphract. That's... Not gonna go well, is it? Go for the high ground, the, the very slightly higher ground. Oh god! Oh god! He's doing all tricksy things. Ow! Swing speed is fast. Ow! Stop! Oh, he's taking the high ground from me. Ha <laughs> in your face. Ow. <laughs> Get wrecked. We won. We got a horse and some renown. Yay. What I really want is weapons and armor. And all I get is camels and horses. Well, um, can we uh, get these looters? No, they're gone. Uh, where should we go? Where should we go? Let's go here. Oh, more looters, more looters. Come here, come here. You are my bread and butter, looters. Without you, I would not be making much money. Attack! Alright, lads. The plan is... What? Oh, whew. <laughs> I, I just saw my one infantryman. I was like, what? Is this all I've got? Where, where are all my archers? archers? Right, they were hiding from me Forward! on the hill. Archers! No, not Infantry! archers. Infantry. Go, go to the bridge. Hold the bridge! They can probably just paddle across this water, can't they? Yeah, yeah, certainly can, can't they? Uh, Alright, let's see if I can uh, do some javelin chucking. Oh god, I'm so bad at javelins. Ow! Oh god, no. Just, just terrible. I managed to score one javelin hit. Try again. Yeah, we got one. Oh, archers, what are you doing? Oh, okay. Thought well, they were shooting me for a moment. Good job, boys. Yeah, victory. Oh, poor little Imperial recruit finally died. I'll have to hire another guy. Oh, nice. Excellent. Right, yeah, we're going to stick with the archers. We now have an Imperial Veteran Archer. Yeah. So that's going to cost us a bit more in upkeep. Party wage is now 33. But as long as I just keep to, like, 10 troops, should be all right. I'll be able to afford it. Um, the aim is obviously still to uh, get above 2,000 gold. I, I think, really, I need 3,000 so I can afford to pick myself up a... Uh, Companion as well. That's part of the, uh, the mission. Oh, there was nobody uh, to hire there. I was going to see if I could grab a recruit, but village not friendly. Oh, 12 looters. Yes. Yes. I'm here, looters. Oh, there's a big old fight going on up there. 
We will have no part of that. Now oh, we're being helped by Altanos's party. Did I ask for your help? These are my looters, man. I saw them first. Attack! Well, I guess we just charge because this guy's stuff is all going to just charge anyway and kill it all probably before we get to do anything. mow through them with my horse. Oh, there we go. Finally, we got one. Oh, you're still alive. <laughs> I thought he was dead. Damn this low light. Okay. We're done. We're fleeing. Oh, 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 we've got to chase this guy down, surely. If we can uh, get him with a... Oh, I was going to throw a javelin. Probably badly and miss, but... Disappointment. Yeah, unsurprisingly, we gained virtually nothing from that. Thanks to those douchebags showing up. Taking all the glory. Spiked mace. Nice. Falcon, Fal Falchin, Falchin, Falchin. I don't know how you say that. That fancy sword there, that'll sell more. Sell for more, though. Uh, right, where am I? There's a village there. Let's see if we can recruit anyone from it. Probably not, because I bet these armies have done all the recruiting. Oh, the village has been looted. Oh, well. Um, well, there's some looters there. I, w I wonder if they just recently looted that their village. Let's chase them down and take their things. Come here, give me your stuff. Making me run a long way for this stuff. This stuff had better be good. Right now, I wish I had the Batanian bonus of extra movement speed in woods, because I'd have caught these guys a long time ago. Lads, where are you hiding? Oh, they're over there. What are you doing there, boys? Move! Where's the enemy? Oh, they're there. Oh, hi. Right, javelins. <laughs> Get wrecked. Yes. I was going to say, tell me I gained something in throwing skill there for that. Standing there, tanking all the stones. <laughs> throwing javelins. All right. Oh, we got two veterans now. This is not helping me improve my money situation, buying all these troop upgrades, but we are getting more stuff to sell bit by bit. All right, come on. Please be a dude there. Recruit troops. Back, uh, let's take... No, actually, we'll stop with one dude for now. Hold on. Let, let me count. What have I got? One, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I do want one more. We'll go with ten archers. Right, there we go. Uh, there's a settlement here, and I have one prisoner, so I'm just going to go sell that. Gold. I must have had more than one prisoner there. Okay. Uh, no arena fight, but we can do some trading. Let's sell yeah, uh, all of this stuff. Keep the food. Definitely keeping the beer. Uh, oh, we're going to sell the salt. That's a good price for the salt. Still a good price, even though it reduced as we sold more of it. Nope. Whoops. Oh, crap. Where is it? I've actually accidentally sold something that I didn't want to sell. Southern Mail Coif. Where, where is that? Yeah, I want that lock function to actually work properly. There we go. Don't sell that. Ooh, 
His wrapped shoes are making us uh, decent money each time. 175 every time I look at it. Oh, I should keep a pair, though, really, for my companion. But, eh, whatever. I need the money first. I, I, I've got to get money to be able to afford a companion in the first place, haven't I? Uh, right. So, uh, we are now over 2,000 in dinars. Uh, where am I going to go? I was going somewhere. I was going there. Oh, we've run all the way back here. Um, yeah, so... Oh, 15 looters there. And this is why I'm not getting anywhere. <laughs> I keep, keep seeing looters and going, Oh, I've got to get those as well. Come here, looters. Come to... Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Can I actually take on that many? Let's find out. We're going to be brave, boys. Hey, Garrison! How you doing? Good to see you. All right, you then. Okay, so uh, that totals... What's that? 22 of them? Scary. Scary. There are twice as many of them as there are of us. But I do have my super awesome, amazing archers. Who will hopefully take down a bunch of them before they get on top of us. I just need to find myself a good line of sight and a decent hill. Oh, God. This is not working out. Forward! It's not forward. It's backwards. But I won't pull him up on a technicality. Uh, right, so what, what if I stick my archers here? Can I can I get them up here? Come here, archers. Arrows! Move! I have my little infantrymen down here. Soldiers! Move! Oh god, this is bad. This is very bad. There's a horde of them. <laughs> ah. Stop! Stop! Oh god, I'm so terrible at throwing javelins. Okay, I'm out of javelins. We're on to the stabby stabby now. Ah, <laughs> get stabbed. You get stabbed. And you get stabbed. And you? You get stabbed. And you get stabbed. Oh, they're running now. And you get stabbed. Uh, oh, you've got an arrow in you. This is just a mercy. That arrow's probably really hurting. We won! My horse almost died, but we won. Oh, one of my recruits is gone. Poor guy. Maybe he didn't die. We'll find out. He didn't die! He lived! What did I gain? <laughs> Apparently, I gained a point in throwing, even though most of my throwing was terrible. Horse riding, tactics, and pole arms. Good little haul there. 2.7 renown as well. Nice. And we take one prisoner. We killed 21 of the 22. Ah, not a bad haul there. Actually, let's uh, lock, lock some rat shoes so we've got some for our companion because we're about to be able to afford one. We're not far off it. More looters. Come here, looters. Garrison says, I've been hit for over a thousand while someone was riding. <laughs> you, mu you must have both been riding fast horses towards each other and then you got hit in the face with a lance or something. That's, that's a brutal amount of damage. <laughs> probably catch. Yeah, probably. Okay. Uh, oh, there's only six of them, aren't there? Footman, forward! Come on, archers. You're better than this. Hit something. Oh, they got one. Oh, he just got beamed in the head with a stone. Oh, 
that, that fell way short. Oh, they're all dead. <laughs> archers for the win. Ooh, some of my archers have uh, got upgrades available. Excellent. So we've got three veterans now. Nice. We're, we're going to have an unstoppable force of archers soon. We've got another camel. Excellent. Uh, we can now carry even more stuff. I have three pack camels and Hussan free as well. On to the next looters. Oh, it's on dark. We can't see them anymore. Okay, is there going to be a tournament here? Oh, let's hit those looters first. Oh, oh, we need to talk to you. We need to talk to you. Request. Come here, please. Slow down. You're too fast. There we go. Stop that stranger. I bid you peace. At least until I find out who you are anyway. Oh, lovely. Uh, my name is Doyle, sir. May I ask your name? I'm Caladog, High King of the Batanians. I'm Lord of Marinath. Good for you. Uh, the one thing about me you should know is that I make a very good friend and you absolutely do not want me as an enemy. Okay. Uh, I'm a busy man, but there's always time to talk about the blessed battle of Pendrake. Our dear old beloved King Errol, a wonderful man, but with a heart perhaps just a mite too tender, did not wish for us to go off to war. But then he disappeared. Hmm. I wonder how he disappeared. Did you have anything to do with it, Caladog? Uh, and I, his son-in-law, ascended to the kingship. How convenient. Uh, the clans cried out for war. They had a hundred years of crimes against them to avenge. I, a father to my people, gave them what they wanted. Now the Empire uses tricks and traps in war. No Britannian fears to meet an Imperial soldier man to man, but we thought it would be a good laugh to use their tricks against them. So we laid an ambush on both sides of a wooded pass, and wouldn't you know, they marched right into it. They turned and twisted as our arrows rained down upon them, like fish going frantic in a pond as you draw the net tighter. Then, when they were greatly discomforted, <laughs> okay, that's uh, that's not how you spell it, I don't think, uh, we took up our fal falxes and swords and reaped the harvest. Oh, there was some unpleasantness later with the Sturgeons about the spoils of war, but what a grand old day it was. Mm, thank you. Okay. See you later. So, uh, he probably murdered the other king, I reckon. Just putting that out there. All right, let's do some trading. Three forty, not a bad haul. Let's see if these guys have got anything cool. The Batanians don't usually have much in the way of cool armor, but this isn't actually their settlement. This is uh, Western Empire, is it? Settlement that they've nicked. So yeah, it's got all imperial stuff here. Imperial mail over stripped leather. Mm. Twenty six thousand. Can't afford that. All right. Okay, I think I might be able to afford. Right, some of the prisoners. Uh, a companion now. So let's just have a look, see if there's anyone here. Because part of my uh, mission, my quest, is to get a companion. Master Thug. No, we don't want you. What are you? Uh, Kiroslav Frostbeard. Mm. <clears throat> it looks like he comes with some gloves. Added armor. Yeah, all right. Let's talk to you. I'll tell you, but I don't know why you'd be interested. Okay. Low self-esteem. He's called Frostbeard, and he doesn't have a beard. What is this? This is unacceptable. Uh, my parents died when I was young. My sister married. Her husband wanted my parents' farm, so he hired a devious man, a fast talker who knew the law well. He said, I don't even remember what he said, in court before the council, but the council awarded both of them the farm. It did not matter much. I always preferred the woods made a better living shooting squirrels and rabbits and selling fur but i've been thinking maybe i want to marry and i guess i need more silver for that probably more than i can get from the squirrels so people tell me that war leaders will pay for a good scout and i know the woods well 
Seems a reasonable ambition. A good scout can command a high price. Don't tell him that. Don't tell him he can command a high price. We want to get him for a low price. Tell him scouting's worth pennies, mate. It's not really worth much at all. How about you join us for free and maybe we'll give you some bread. Uh, he says, I know the woods well. I can move quickly in them. I'll tell you all about a war party bef uh, from the branches it broke marching through. Right now, I'm between jobs. So if you've got any work for me, I'm willing to discuss it. Yeah, we could use someone like that. Jesus! 1,045? Oh, you better be worth it. We'll, we'll hire him. He's getting his gear. He's hired. Crikey. Right, uh, we're not far off the 2,000 gold total. Uh, that we need. After after that, we need to get to 20 recruits to unlock the next stage of the game. Um, so as you can see the quest now. Yeah, we're pretty close there. We've got the Renown. We've got the Companion hired. Uh, we need to hit 20 men total. So I actually only need another 9. But I'll probably get 10. I like units of 10. Um, and we're almost there on the Dinars. Uh, is there an... Oh, there's an arena fight going on. Um... All right, let's uh, go to inventory. All right, there we go. We can now equip Kiroslav Frostbeard. Uh, he's got a tapered northern blade. Uh, right, uh, we don't have a shield we can give him. Uh, we can give him the southern male coif, an upgrade. Uh, give him some arm wraps. Uh, what are his boots like? Uh, these boots are slightly better. Uh, rugged gambeson, that's an upgrade for him. <laughs> he looks so ridiculous with his knees out. Uh, his massive helmet and these little knobbly knees. Little knobbly knees out. Uh, we could do with give him, giving him a horse or a camel. I guess we'll give him a... Uh, actually, do you know what? You're not getting a horse, mate. Sorry, you're, you're going to remain infantry for now. <clears throat> um, well, that's it. That, that's all we can give him. So uh, let's go to trade and get rid of the useless stuff that we no longer want. <clears throat> what? I've got eight of these? I've, I've been gradually uh, building these up without actually realising. Um, all right. And you can go. Okay. Uh, we don't need all of those, do we? Northern Cap. Yeah, you're going. All right. Um, so, I mean, he's not very well equipped. He doesn't have a shield or... Well, he's got nothing good, really. He's basically got a sword and a bit of armour. But he will have to make do. Right, uh, arena time. Join the tournament. And I'm not going to place bets still because that's a quick way of losing all my money. Um, I think what I'll do is what I've been doing so far, which is just enter at no risk. There's only a horse to win here. Oh, disappointment. <laughs> Looks like some... Kind of hardcore Batanian guy. You bastard! Ow! Stabbing my face. Actually, stabbing my face isn't bad. That's that's my best armor. Keep stabbing my face. Just don't stab me anywhere other than the face. Ow! Oh god! Every time he hits me, it hurts so much. I feel like I'm just tickling him. Oh, oh god. When I get a slash in, he gets a slash in as well. Oh, we got one in for free there. Oh, and there. Oh, no, no! He fooled me with his tricksy ways. Is this round one? Oh god, my sword broke. My shield broke. No! no. I panicked. I failed to block with my sword. My shield broke. Oh, yeah, a Batanian Fian champion. Oh, man, no wonder he was so tough. But if we'd have got past him, it would have been a lot easier. Oh, there's still a hero there, though. And and Lysica, whoever she is. Oh, well. Well, we we, uh, we lost no money there, so nothing nothing was lost. We're fine. Um, all right, we do want to start building up troops now, though, don't we? Um, where should I head to? Go to Maranath. No, I just want to stick with Imperial troops. Yeah, let's go. Let's go south. Actually, stick with Imperial troops. Um, 
So we still we still got to keep gaining money, but we've also got to gain troops while we're at it. Oh, in fact, we've got we've got over two thousand in money because we sold stuff. So yeah, it's literally just troops we need now, and then we're all good. Uh, one there. Almost there. We're on 17 now. Not typically everywhere has been looted around here. Let's go. Let's go this way. See if we can find somewhere that's not been looted. We get our last three troops. Oh no! Also, uh, we're going to need to get a little bit more gold because we're actually obviously spending gold as we recruit these troops, but also our wages are uh, being paid as well. Is taking us just under 2,000 gold. Right, we have the 20 we're supposed to have. Oh, actually, let's get 21. Uh, no, no, I'm going to get 22. Um, that is just because I want a nice round 10 archers and 10 infantry for my little force. Uh, along with myself and Kiraslav Frostbeard. So that makes 22. You add me and him as well. Right, uh, let's see. Where am I going to go? I, I need to I need to earn money. Um, which means I need to find some bad guys. Go over that direction. See if we can find some looters on the way. I mean, we're paying out 52 a day now. So our money is going to drop fairly quickly unless... I can find something to do. Uh, we can do quests, of course. I can do it, but I'd much rather fight my way. The money total. A lot of things have been raided around here, so that implies that maybe there's some bandits. Oh no, there's a big ass army there. Uh, I wonder, am I allowed to talk to these guys while they're in a fight? No. <laughs> nope, nope. They're a bit busy. Um, Seems a shame to pass up the opportunity to uh, talk to uh, two guys at once, though. Maybe wait till their fight is over. Wouldn't be long now. Looks like the Imperials are getting their butts kicked. There we go. Right now, let's uh, let's do some talking. I'm. Um, Ergion of Fendurngil, one of the ancient lineages of the Batanians. I'm Lord of Legita and Dunglanis. Dunglanis. You, you own a place called Dunglanis. I bet it smells bad. Um, all right. Uh, ah, for any son of Batania, there will be no prouder moment in his life than that day. Any true son of Batania, anyway. Uh, look, right before the battle, our High King Errol disappears, and his adopted son Caladog becomes king. That sets tongs to wagging, you know? Uh, but let me tell you, old Errol could never in his life have won such a victory as did Caladog that day. Uh, we waited for them like wolves in the wood. As their vanguard came up the winding road, they came without archers to protect them. Caladog blew his horn, and our bowmen fired on them from all sides. They turned their shields one way and were hit from the other. A glorious thing to watch. When they were all good and addled like frightened sheep, running this way and that, the rest of us warriors descended upon them with our falxers and swords. I cleaved this way and that. I took 12 heads, and mine was far from the greatest catch. Uh, the grandchildren tire of me telling this story. Thank you very much for your gross story, sir. Uh, right, and we've got to talk to this dude as well. No, no, not the village. This dude. I am Melodier of the Fen Uvain. One of the ancient lineages of the Batanians. I'm Lord of Carbanseth. Uh, right, tell me anything about the Battle of Pendrake. Well, King Caladog's great victory. Who would dare say anything to tarnish its shine? King Errol disappeared while hunting, and Caladog... Yeah, disappeared while hunting. Uh, while Caladog becomes king, he leads the tribes to war. Oh, we were eager enough, even though Errol had made a truce with the Emperor, sealed by oaths. And when we dazzled with the pros... 
When we were dazzled with the prospect of vengeance, who cares about our sacred word and honour? The ambush, masterfully planned and executed, that none can deny. But I will also not deny that the Sturgeons fought the main body of the Imperial forces, and the Vlandians fought their famous cavalry. So I don't think the greatest glory went to the Sons of Britannia. At the end of the day, what have we gained? The Sturgeons hate us worse than ever, the Vlandians too. The Empire, I suppose, is shattered. What can I say? I believe that wars should have a goal, but I'm a minority, it seems, among our people. Okay, well, so uh, we've still got to talk to more dudes, but that's four out of ten spoken to, so it's handy that we caught those two together. All right, let's go to Sargot. Oh, hang on. <laughs> what? Really? Are you serious, Garrison? When did that happen? <laughs> Are you serious? The Venezuelan Navy rammed a luxury liner and sunk themselves. Are you serious? And they put a bounty on Maduro for 15 mil. Jesus. <laughs> that, that's hilarious. Thank you for bringing me that news. <laughs> All right, can we catch these guys? Or are they going to be too fast for us? We have to chase them halfway across the world. Come on, turn more corners. Turn more corners. Turn more corners. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. We've chased them such a long way, but I don't want to give up now. There we go. <laughs> That's ridiculous. All right. Um... Archers, forward! Infantry, move! Where are the bad guys? I don't see them. Oh, they're in the water. That's why. Okay. <laughs> he used to be an adventure until he took a javelin to the knee. Right, nobody died. Oh, I gained two horse riding for that. Excellent. I wonder if he's called Frostbeard because his beard got frosted off. Like it got all frozen and then it just it just came right off. Maybe that's why he's got no beard. I, I'm still slightly irked that I've got a guy called Frostbeard that doesn't have a beard. We need more money. We're chasing these forest bandits. Forest bandits tend to be archers. Uh, we're chasing them a long way. 4.9, 5.0. We are gaining on them. Yeah, <laughs> we got them. Surrender or die. Um, right. So I'm probably going to lose some guys here. Because uh, they have archers, basically. Oh, let's get a better Archer, line of sight from there. So they're going to be shooting my dudes up. I'll try and make them shoot me instead. Ow! Oh god, ow. Jesus, ow. My horse is almost dead. Stop! Stop, archers. Charge the infantry. Yeah, get wrecked, freebooter. Hmm, luckily, my archers did a really good job there. I don't think we lost anyone in the end. No, we didn't. Excellent. Right, hopefully we'll get some different loot types. Uh, oh, we've got prisoners. That's good. I'll sell for a bit, hopefully. Uh, no. It's not that different, apart from getting some barbed arrows. Right, where where am I? Have, I? have I just been here? Yeah, I've just been here. I've run all the way back to where I've just been. Um, have I been... Oh, God. 
Charis? Can't even remember now where I've been. Let's run to Charis. Oh, more looters! Okay, we'll get these guys. We'll end up wherever we end up. I mean, we're uh, we're very close to having enough gold. We just need to uh, go somewhere to sell, really, but don't want to uh, pass up an opportunity to get some more easy money. I want to do another tournament. Thanks for that, Garrison. Oh, I'm getting better with these javelins. I can hit things now. Okay. More prisoners. I can have a maximum of 20 prisoners at the moment. Uh, right, hang on. I, I need to count my archers. What am there? Some somebody leveled up. Imperial veteran archer. Oh, I've got an imperial palatine guard. So I think I've hit the end of the line. Whoops. With the uh, with the archery tree now. Yeah, imperial palatine guard is uh, top level archer. Look at him, all shiny in his armor. With uh, what looks like a very short bow. It's probably not going to have a big range, but whatever. As long as they do damage. Um, so I've got one of those, two of those, that's six, seven, eight, so I need two more archers, double check that, yeah, two more archers, and then the rest of them are going to be infantry, oh, Kiroslav's down on 6% health, apparently had a bit of a rough fight there. We've uh, we've completed our quest now. Maybe. Oh no, perhaps not. Still don't have enough gold. What have we done? Oh no, we have. Apparently we have. Oh, I guess we have to hit 2,000 dinars at some point. I, I, I don't quite know. But apparently I've successfully rebuilt my clan. So we'll look at the clan tab now. So now you can see we're clan tier 1. Um, and I'm allowed up to 4 companions... I've got one so far. I will be looking to pick up as many as I can have because I like companions. Um, and uh, if I if I go up to the next tier, I'll be allowed another companion. Uh, I'm eligible for being a, a vassal right now. Um, I could all... Oh, no, I'm still only allowed one party at the minute. Uh, right, well, that's uh, done there. So we've done that. Uh, we're now just on the Noret Caesar's folly quest which involves talking to nobles all over the place so traveling around as much as i can is a good way uh, to get that done ah i've leveled up i've got two skill points uh, i've maxed out leadership uh what else do i want to do max out horse riding would be good Or do I want to go with trade? Make a profit from trading operate caravans. Uh, yeah, it's going to help me make money faster, and making money faster is good. Um, steward, get me tax collecting. Ah, so this is this this is helpful for if I uh, own places. I don't own places yet, so I'm not going to worry about that just now. Tactics. What do I get from tactics? Um, <clears throat> there's some kind of cool stuff in the tactics tree. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not sure. I might, I might improve tactics. It's, it's either that or trade, I'm thinking, at the moment.
Um. Uh, I'll go for trade, I think. Because money is just always useful. So we put two points into trade. We've already maxed out leadership. Um, obviously, uh, I'm going to want to start improving the weapons eventually. But the minute my threshold, I can go a long way before I max out my weapons. Uh, I mean, my highest at the moment is pole arms at 43. That's out of 100. So, you know, I'm not in a massive rush. I, I'm, I'm going to level up, I think, fast enough to be able to expand... Uh, my skill limit in it before I hit the max. Uh, let's have a look at what Kiroslav Frostbeard's got. So he already comes with stuff. So he's got uh, damage increased with one handed by 4%. Got Shield Bash and a Bruiser. 10% more damage if a one handed mace type weapon is equipped. So I want to give this guy a mace and a shield, preferably. Don't know about the looks of things. Not bad with two handers either. Um, ooh. Uh, actually, uh, he's really good with bows. Probably not that surprising since he did bang on about being a scout. Um, so I should probably give him a bow. <laughs> a bow, a mace, and a shield. Maybe. Uh, can I give him that? Yeah, as long as I, yeah, as long as he's only got one quiver of arrows, I can do that. Um, what do I already have? So... I can give him barbed arrows, even though I don't actually have a bow yet. We'll, we'll just stick that in as a placeholder. Um, don't think I have any kind of mace. No, I don't. And we don't have a shield either yet. So he's still just... He's going to carry around a quiver of arrows that he can't do anything with. Uh, and his sword for now. Don't question it. Makes perfect sense. Oh, Sea Raiders. There's only three of them, but Sea Raiders can be pretty tough. We're going to go after them. They're going at speed 2.2, 3.3, 3.5. They're faster than we are. Unsurprising, really. Ah, we'll switch to the looters. Oh, even they're outrunning us. 14 looters there. What's their speed? Oh, we don't know. Right, we're almost at this settlement. We'll go here. All right, let's do some trading. Okay, is that going to take us? No, not quite, I don't think. Oh, I don't need to worry about that now, do I? I was still thinking I still need to do the uh, money earning quest, but... We've already done it. So now I can start thinking about just buying stuff. This leather scale armor. Well, that would uh, clean me out of all my money and really not for that much of an improvement. I don't think that's really worth it. I want to do another tournament. Uh, right, let's ransom the prisoners. Ooh, we could also look for hiring more companions, couldn't we? Let's just have a look, see who's around. Who have we got here? Oh, it's just an expert thug. Oh, there we go. Gandarina the Black. Okay. Find out what her deal is. Far back as I remember, I was living on the streets of Lycaron with a bunch of other dirty barefoot scrogs. What is a scrog? I, I don't know this word. Um, a group of men in our alley, they called themselves the Centaurs. I guess they took a liking to me. Gave me special errands to run from them. To run for them, I think that's supposed to be. Uh, started with picking pockets, ended with sticking knives into their enemies. Back then, I'd do anything for a handful of figs and cheese and a pat on the head. Okay. Uh, got a bit older, though, and their interests in me changed. Filthy drunken louts pressing themselves against me, grabbing at me. I wasn't having that. Made up my mind to leave, but wasn't sure where to go. Then came the day that Lycaron burned, and everyone was out looting and robbing, and that was my chance. Lifted a bag of silver from the centaur's stash and lit out on the road. 
hard life, but I must admire your fortitude at least. Anyway, I wandered about a bit, but now I think it's time I found steady work. You wouldn't need someone to stick a knife in those that need sticking, do you? Always. Uh, she's between jobs. Uh, 1,046. Oh, yeah, all right, we'll do it. That's uh, half of my money just gone. But hopefully she will uh, be worth a while. I like pink picking up the companions as early as I can, really, because obviously the sooner you get them, the sooner they start earning experience and start turning into something good, you know? Um, they all start out pretty rubbish from what I've found so far. Oh, she's got a military tunic already. Better than this rugged gambeson. Let's give her a chainmail uh, coif. And uh, that's it. I really need to find some shields. Uh, all my, all my uh, dudes are a little bit rubbish at the moment. Never mind. Uh, right, we're just going to wait here for some time. All daylight anyway, because uh, the arena's not open at night. Aha! And there we go. We have a tournament we can enter. Another full helm over laced coif. Right. Uh, I mean... My chances of winning this are, are, are very low, but we'll uh, we'll give it a crack. Just, that would be great to give one of my companions. What have we got here? Crossbow. Uh oh. Oh dear! Don't shoot me! Don't shoot me! There we go. I'm not skilled with a crossbow. Our abilities with this are very, very low. Oh god, this weapon. It, this actually scares me. It takes like two hits to take me out. And I'm, oh god. Oh, I was going to say, and I find... You might be looking at it and going, why doesn't he block? Why is he not fighting sensibly? I've just found from doing those rounds in the arena that if I try to block and get fancy, I just get wrecked. So the way to win with those, in my opinion, is just be aggressive and get the first hits in. Because it only you really, most people go down in like two hits from that weapon. Um, yourself included. So uh, yeah, aggression won the day there anyhow. Locked with his shield. He blocked with his shield again. This is unacceptable. Fine, I stab your horse. Oh, he stabbed me. Ah, there we go. Get wrecked. I thought I was going to have to kill his horse. Right. One-on-one uh, -on -one with an Imperial Veteran Archer. Well, let's hope it's not a competition of shooting. Really want to get myself better body armor. Because obviously these uh, tournaments get a lot easier if your uh, armor is higher. And therefore things are more forgiving when you're taking hits. At the moment, my armor is pretty poor, but we've won another tournament. What was the prize here? Oh, it was an awesome helmet, wasn't it? Yay. So, not an improvement for me, but an improvement for one of my buddies, which is always good. Alright, uh, so we'll give this to uh, Kiraslav. There you go. Enjoy. Oh, he's another one. He's got a scarf on his civilian clothes. Armour 9 on those gloves. Hold on a minute. Oh, right. I need I need to uh, nick his civilian clothes because they're better than his battle clothes. 6. That. 8. Yeah. Look, what, what, what is this? 14. 17. Right. Okay. So, uh, yeah. We'll uh, sort him out. Uh, and the leather gloves. Right, so <laughs> um, <laughs> this is what he wears as a civilian now. <laughs> right, we're, we're fixing it. There we go. 
It's a little bit better. But he's got he's definitely uh much more uh, robust now. Uh right, she's got Fine, that's fine, that's fine. Right, uh we're gonna upgrade her head. There you go. Save that for the next companion. And away we go. Okay, uh, where are we going next? Head up, up north. Up north! Seven looters, that might be worth chasing down. Come here, come here, come here. Stop, slow down. Yes, run into a dead end. Yes, yes, you're trapped now. We're not fighting, he's a nudist, says Catch. He could have been. We could have gone with that. Bowman! Move! Right. I think we, we just let our archers deal with this, can we? Infantry! Forward! Come on, archers. Hit more. I want to get my archers upgraded quickly because obviously having awesome archers means you just stand there and watch them butcher everything. Much like they just did there. Uh, but we'll be able to do it against tougher enemies than just looters. But we are also going to have to improve our infantry at some point. Move Gandarina the Black up. Alright, uh, there we go. Taking their stuff. And we're almost at Jaculan. Another arena? Oh, I want an arena fight. Okay, uh... Um, how much money have I got now? Eh, still not very much, is it? Ooh, Western crowned helmet. Ooh, I can pretend I'm a king if I had 36,000 dinars, which I don't. Okay, that's enough window shopping. Ransom the prisoners. Uh, don't have enough gold to be hiring another companion right now, so we'll just uh, move along. Yeah, what, what I really want, as I said, is to improve my body armor. So I've got a better chance in these tournaments. Because once I'm feeling confident in my body armor as well... I'll start betting on myself in these tournaments, knowing that I'll probably be able to win. And then the money will come in a lot faster. But I've got to build up enough money to be able to afford some good armor first. Or, you know, find some in a tournament. I don't know. That might be possible. Bowman! Move! Infantry! Move! Soldiers, move! Okay, my infantry don't have shields, really. They're just kind of standing there getting pelted by rocks. Let's charge them in. It's time you earn some money, infantry. Okay. 
Uh, I was looking to see if there uh, there was a mace or whether that hammer counts as a mace or whatever. Because remember, we've got the dude that um, does more damage with maces, doesn't he? Chase down these looters. What are they moving at? 3.4 and we're going at 3.5. Oh, it's going to take a while to catch them, but they've run into a dead end now. There we go. We got them. <laughs> it, honestly, catch. I'm it crossed my mind move. as well, and I resisted Infantry. making a childish joke about it. <laughs> I'm glad you did, though. It makes me feel better. Soldiers! Ah, eat our mighty rain of death. Ow! Someone hit me with a stone. Throwing stones. There's, there's a guy fleeing over there. We're going after him. The boys have got them. Where are you going? Running away. Oh. <laughs> Hail. <laughs> there we go. We got him. Yay! We won. Every battle we do is gaining a little bit more renown and a little bit more morale. Okay. Uh, upgrade these archers. And now we can upgrade to an Imperial Infantryman. We've got our first infantry upgrade. This guy has a shield. Yay! Which is more than my uh, companions have right now. Not a bad little haul there. We'll take it. Morale's ticking up nicely. Right, uh, Galend, that's where I was on my way to. Yeah, no, those people are really out there, Garrison. <laughs> they really exist. Only 182. God, this money-making slow going. I need to buy myself a better shield at some point, don't I? Knight's Kite Shield. I mean, I've got like a helmet that makes me feel like a knight. Maybe I should buy that. And I can give one of my buddies my crappy shield that I currently have. Uh, oh, what have we got here? A green hood or a western hood? They are not helpful. Um, what about armor? A Western noble dress? No, I don't think that's going to help me in battle somehow. Oh, itch. Ah, ah, can't reach it. Ah, where is it? Ah, oh, there it is. Got it. It's all right. Don't panic. I've got the itch. All right. Uh, we're going to... What are we going to do? Sell prisoners. God, these prisoners are so cheap. Uh, wait here till daylight and see if there's a tournament. No! Oh, give me a tournament, damn it. Um, have we been to Charis? Ah, right, let's go to Pravend. Let's go up there. I don't think we've been there yet. Spent a lot of time kind of in the middle uh, zones of the map. There, there is obviously all these southern lands down here that we've not been to, but I don't like going there too early because there's mounted evil things that wreck you. Um, uh, and the north isn't too bad. Over there and like over to the east and the south can be a bit dangerous. All right, we've got uh, we've got a tournament on here, so we're going to do it. Uh, 
Let us join this tournament. <laughs> oh, look at that. A northern closed helmet. Or a northern helmet closed. Whatever. Uh, I don't know if that's actually going to be better than what I've already got. Um, but one of my companions could use that. Even if it's not better than what I'm wearing. All right, what are we doing? Oh, no. Not these things. Oh, God. I hate these ones. Aggression. There we go. One shot. Get down. Okay. Oh no, we're fighting Kiroslav Frostbeard. He's not on our side. Must kill his teammate quick. Oh no, uh, our teammate's doing great. <laughs> He's just murdered him. Good job, buddy. Oops, sorry. <laughs> All right, uh, skip that round. A Vlandian Gallant. And a veteran archer. What's a Vlandian Gallant? Concerned. Oh no, it's gone straight over his head. This is bad. This is very bad. Oh god, no. Please, please. I'm rubbish with crossbow. Right, okay, we got him. We got him. It's two on one now. For how long? Oh no, no. Our oh, buddy's just a complete murderer. He's doing great. Oops. <laughs> he's doing great. Uh, well, he's definitely going to be mad with me after I TK'd him the last two rounds. After he won it for me. So uh, it seems fitting that we meet in the final. <laughs> Ooh. This is my kind of fight. <laughs> Can't get him. No, come here. There we go. There we go. Yes, yes. Keep them stab. Get, stab some more. There we go. <laughs> Unsurprisingly, uh, a sharpshooter is not very good on horseback with a lance. Luckily, I was fine. Right, so we won that helmet now. This I'm very pleased with. All right, let's go to the inventory and find out. Uh, yeah, so it's one less armor than the one I'm wearing. It's a lot lighter, though. I, I mean, it weighs a heck of a lot less. And uh, you see here, you've got your encumbrance. And the higher your encumbrance, the slower you move on your feet. So, I, you know, I could wear it and just take one less armor on the head for quite a lot less weight. Um, even though it makes me look... A little bit ridiculous. I kind of prefer the uh, the dustbin helmet as opposed to uh, this thing but in terms of looks. But this just makes me look like I've got a really long neck. <laughs> I've got this huge chain uh, face mask to, to hide my overly long neck. Um, I don't know. I might wear that actually because less weight. Could be uh, could be handy in the arena fights, being able to dance around on my feet a little bit more. Uh, so we'll give uh, give my other helmet to uh, Gandarina the Black. She doesn't look very black to me. Uh, right, and uh, we'll keep the Southern Male Coif for our next companion. I I feel like I look ridiculous now, but never mind. Uh, is there any trading to be done here? No, probably not. Oh, there's a spiked mace. We could get a mace for our buddy. We we'll get him a bow, very cheap bow. Hmm. Yeah, we'll just save. We'll just save for uh, arm upgrades. Ooh, reinforced leather van braces, uh, van braces. However you say that. Um, Twenty armor armor. That's a lot better than what I'm wearing. Heck of a lot better. Um, 
don't know that I should be spending that much gold on it though. We don't have very much at all. Okay, let's go to Ox Hall, see if there's a tournament on there. I like doing these tournaments. Oh, I'm gonna have to end soon, I'm afraid. Been having too much fun. But today, I, I was gonna try and uh, do two things today, because I don't get much time for streaming now, now I'm uh, five days a week uh, full-time dadding. Um, I thought, oh, I'll, do, I'll do a bit of Mountain Blade, and then I'll do an episode of Battletech, and I'll get it all done in one stream. And then what I've actually done is played Mountain Blade, and then just carried on playing Mountain Blade. So there will be some more Battletech in the not-too-distant future, uh, but not today, by the looks of things, because I've used all of my time playing this. It, as I said at the beginning, it's addictive. It's I, I'm really enjoying it. In spite of the early access bugs, um, I'm still having a lot of fun with it. And uh, as I said earlier, they've already put out four patches for it since uh, the release on the 30th. Um, so, um, yeah, it's uh, it's getting fixed bit by bit. And obviously, now there's a lot more people playing it. They're going to discover the problems with it a lot faster uh, and hopefully uh, get those solved. But, yeah, I, I, so far, so good. And, and I, you know, I love Mountain Blade. Until Battletech came along, uh, Mountain Blade Warband was my number one most played game on Steam. Um, and then... Uh, you know, it's since been overtaken. And one of the reasons for that was all the mods. Um, the mods gave Mountain Blade Warband a hell of a lot more shelf life for me. Uh, I assume the same thing will occur with this game. But right now, I'm happy enough playing it in its vanilla form. And probably will be for quite some time. It's a lot of fun. And I, I always like this style of game. I like the sandboxy, do what I want, how I want um, approach to it. Um so we'll do, uh, we'll do one more tournament and then I'm going to have to call it a day, I think. I, I basically, uh, I mean, uh, again, I'm not doing, like, my my old schedule, I would have just started the stream. Uh, I'm just streaming as and when I've got the time, basically. So to, to get this in, I skipped lunch, so I'm starving now. I need to get some food. Uh, but at least I got a stream in, you know. Hopefully that'll make some of you happy and there'll be a video to go up on YouTube of this stream uh, as soon as I'm allowed to put it up. Right, uh, yeah. Go after these guys first. Oh, that's my buddy. Oh. <laughs> she got wrecked. Oh, no. No, no. No, don't run out ahead. Actually, I think we're through already, aren't we? Well, they took each other out. I'm fine with this outcome. It's now one on one. My kind of odds. <laughs> Punched him in the face with my shield. That was quite satisfying. Okay. Skip that round. On to the next. Oh no. I hate these. I'm running away from my opponent deliberately here. I'm gonna get myself uh, some kind of advantage. Oh, oh. Come on. Like so. <laughs> Sneaky. <laughs> Have them distract each other and then just sweep in and smash them both. Oh, Frostbeard didn't make it to the final. Oh god, not these again. Get wrecked, Vlandian infantry. Get wrecked. I'm standing on your face now. What are you going to do? Nice. 76 damage done. And he's gone. Another victory for Doyle Doyle of the mighty Doyle clan. Uh, so we got ourselves a horse for that. Nothing too thrilling. It's probably a very good horse, but... My riding skill is not very good, so I probably can't ride it right now. Um, ridged arming sword. Ridged for her pleasure. No, that's not how it goes, is it? Uh, what have we got here? Nice pike. This place has got a lot of helmets. 
That that that's too many helmets for one shop. What the hell happened here? Oh my god. Alright, what's the best helmet they got? Peaked helmet over male. That's not as good as my weird super long neck helmet. Any good armor? Leather scale armor. You see, it's not much of an improvement, and it would cost more money than I've got. So we're not gonna do that. Let's sell that. Got one of those anyway. Right, uh, yeah, so I'm going to have to call it a day there, but uh, thank you very much for joining me. I really appreciate it. It's always good to see you guys. Uh, hopefully next time I'll uh, I'll get some Battletech on. We'll continue that same series that I started just before uh, my schedule had to uh, go to pot. Um, I hope you're all doing well in the lockdown. Obviously, I know uh, a good portion of my audience are in the States and things are not going well for you guys at the moment with the virus. Um, that sucks a lot. And uh, I hope it, it, it doesn't affect anyone uh, you know or care about, or any of you. Um, uh, the lockdown seems to be going all right over here so far. Um, we're, we're all right. Uh, my family is okay so far, uh, even though they're all over the place. Uh, everyone is reporting in as being all right at the minute. I just hope that lasts. Um, but yeah, obviously very sad that unfortunately huge numbers of people are dying of this virus it is dangerous it's not the flu uh, and we do need to take it seriously and uh, stay indoors which uh, for most of us is business as usual <laughs> just oh, i'll just i'll just stay at home and play some computer games then that'll be fine um yeah so uh, I, I know obviously some of you are more used to getting out and about and it'll be driving you a bit crazy but um just watch twitch and youtube and, and play computer games and you'll get through it all right uh meanwhile we'll have to try not to think about how destroyed everyone's economy is getting um and how well the chinese are probably going to do off the back of this economically since they're getting over it first um scary times ahead perhaps um uh but yeah what can we do eh? what can we do anyway uh i hope to see you all next time i don't know when that will be it's as and when i can get on I, if i'm lucky i might be able to do some streaming tomorrow we'll see uh all i can tell you is i definitely can't stream in the day on mondays tuesdays wednesdays thursdays or fridays anymore because obviously shell is uh although she's working from home she's working full time um so uh yeah that's keeping her very busy which means i'm looking after william but it's the weekend so uh I could stream so yeah i might try and do another one tomorrow uh if i can i'll try and get on some battle tech because i do want to do an episode of that I, I kind of intended to do some of that today didn't happen but never mind uh anyway stay safe guys um you know stay in quarantine and um yeah good luck i'll see you next time <laughs>